This stream has been brought to you by uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, they are sponsoring me now. I'm just kidding. They're not sponsoring me. But that would be cool if they did. I wouldn't mind free coffee for the rest of my life from Dunkin' Donuts if they would simply uh, let me just mention their name at every blue moon in a video. Hey, Lamont at large. Uh, by the way, this message has been brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. What is going on, guys? How are we doing? Uh, I haven't streamed in a while. I wasn't going to stream today because actually my van is such an absolute mess. I wanted to just start taking everything out, vacuuming it, just arranging everything. But uh, I know I haven't streamed in uh, about two or weeks or so. I didn't want to let three weeks go by because then it's maybe I didn't want to live stream Sunday. Then I don't want to let a month go by. So I just want to, you know, stream for a little bit, say hello to everybody in here right now. Uh, bang, boom, pow. Uh, 300 people. Wow, that was quick. Uh, the signal is good over here. Uh, what is going on? Uh, Deborah Matos, uh, Houston, Texas couple, MZ Cray D, uh, Suzanne Schulz. Uh, yeah, you bet I'm loving your paychecks. Oh, is that right? Uh, loving my paychecks. You must have watched that video. Uh, let me tell you guys something really quick. Let me address this uh, really quickly because uh, I, 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 I wouldn't say it gets on my nerves at all. Um, money is the root of all evil, but we all need money to live on. So in case you guys don't know uh, what she is re uh, referencing to, uh, there is a YouTube channel that's ran by a guy. He uses like a voice program because a lot of these channels, there's a lot of channels that when they use voice programs to, to uh, narrate their videos, a lot of times their voices are either... They just don't got a good voice or most times they're not. I believe they're just from foreign countries and they have a very thick accent. They don't want to come across like, you know, like, oh, I'm a foreigner. I don't know. what I, they, they don't know that I know about American crimes I, that I've studied more than they ever will. So they make this channel with the with the computer voice. So a computer voice channel, computer voice channel said they, 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 you know, according to the, to their YouTube, uh, what do you call it? Uh, their, their, uh, the way that they, uh, guess about how much money you make on YouTube, right? Whichever way they did that, they took the number of videos that I have. And then they, 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 they said that, yeah, you get a commercial every single time somebody watches your channel, you get a commercial, right? That's not true. That's not true. Just to let you guys know on the YouTube side of things. No, you don't always get a commercial. Sometimes you guys click on my videos. You don't get a commercial. Do you know why you don't get a commercial? Because the video was not monetized. I didn't get paid for that video. That's totally fine. Now, here's another thing. Some videos I do, I get full monetization. Wow, I did really good. Some videos I get uh, limited monetization. A lot of videos. And it's at the point where if I if I if I continue to think about it, right? If I continue to think about it, it'll piss me off. Now I could do one of two things. I could stop talking about cemeteries, stop vlogging them altogether, and then I could do my videos to where when I go to crime scenes, I don't talk about the horrific details. I don't talk about people getting stabbed or shot or, or, or killed or whatever and get full monetization. And then, uh, and then there you go. I'm a YouTube baller. Or I could be myself, do the video. YouTube decides whether I get paid or not. A lot of times I don't. Oh, well. Little kids get killed. Yeah, you're not getting paid on that video, guys. Execution, you ain't getting paid on that video, guys. You'll see a video, trust and believe. You'll, you'll see a commercial in the video. No, that's, that's limited monetization. YouTube is getting paid. I'm getting one-tenth of a penny per view. So in reference to the video that says, I'm getting, I, I make $200,000 a year, I will tell you this. If I make $200,000 a year, uh, why am I driving around in a 2007 Dodge Caravan? with a very old trailer that leaks last night it was raining like crazy over here my roof leaks guess what i did i put a bucket under where it leaks i didn't put a bucket under my roof because i make two hundred thousand dollars a year i put a bucket under my ceiling because i don't have it like that where i could just go buy a twenty five thousand dollar trailer that's ridiculous and then you got to buy a, a twenty thousand dollar truck to tow this twenty five thousand dollar trailer and so forth and so on so I know a lot of people uh, will have seen that video 
and then they're going to come into my stream and say, like, oh, I bet you're loving those YouTube paychecks. Uh, it, 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 I'll just say this. It's, I do make a living off YouTube. And I'll just say this. It's not what it seems. Trust and believe. I don't, uh, I don't get brand sponsorships. Um, I don't have – now, people do email me like, like, oh, hey, can you mention our product? No, I don't do that. I don't have merch. I don't sell things. This isn't a channel where you sell things. I'm not saying I'll never sell things because I am thinking about how could I make a couple of bucks. But I want to say this. Um, people that are worried about money, I don't live that lifestyle. I don't have kids. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have any bills. I just, I just paid my credit card bills under $500. Just did it two weeks ago. Under $500 for the first time since 2017. Right, right. Knock, 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 knock. Knock on the door. Who is that? It's the IRS. They want their money. 30% tax on anything you make. Sure, you have like you could, you know, I have uh, itemized deductions or what have you. And I have yet to go in that. Uh... But I owe the IRS. I know I owe them money, and I and I'm gonna have to set up a payment plan with them. I have to go to uh, H&R Block or whatever. And uh, yeah, so just to let you guys know, you guys think that like every uh, YouTuber that you watch that they're making all kinds of money. Now I will say this: Let's, I'll I'll, I'll give a perfect example of somebody. Who makes a lot of money on YouTube? Jeffrey Star. If you guys don't know who he is, Jeffrey Star is the makeup god of YouTube, I'm assuming. He's the makeup god on YouTube. Yes, I just said it. He is the makeup god, not a woman. The makeup has, you know, we're not going to get into what is going on culturally in this society. This isn't the channel for that. However, <laughs> I don't care if people are offended. I think it's still funny. But, hey, if you're a guy and you can get paid to put on makeup and you're making uh, and your net worth is over $150 million, estimated, of course. Who knows? This guy has a lot of employees. He also pays a lot in taxes. Jeffree Star could get every video on his channel monetized by YouTube, and he thinks that's a joke. He probably just does videos on YouTube to market his makeup and... He has tax accounts, and then they probably he probably pays a video to pay off a tax for a house. He gets it like that. He's getting full monetization. Let's talk about somebody who is kind of talks about the similar kind of content, kind of sort of, maybe not really, but totally, totally out there. Let's talk about uh, Bailey Sarian. Uh, she is the makeup goddess, I guess. Of I don't know. I actually, I, I really don't know what her channel is. I don't. Uh, I don't watch her videos. Uh, I am subscribed to her just because I like, I'm not going to tell you what. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh I come in peace. Yeah, no. I, I don't, I, I don't want to wrestle with that right there. Whoa, easy, easy, easy. Uh, anyways, we will, we will walk over here. We, we will, we will give him his privacy. So anyways, that's why I always carry, always carry something on me at all times. Cause you never know. You never know. She, that, that lady, she was about seven tenths of a, uh, of a pound away from that dog getting loose from her. And it was all good. It was going to be all bad. Anyways, let's talk about Bailey Sarian really quickly. She gets all her videos monetized. I don't know why. I guess she's YouTube royalty. Maybe the uh, CEO of YouTube knows her like, ah, oh, yeah, you're good. You're good. I, you know, listen, I hope that one day I get like that. I hope that one day I get all my stuff monetized. I get paid for everything that I do. You know, I, I hope that one day I have 5,000 Patreons. Hey, oh, a dollar a month or $5 a month or whatever. Yeah, that's what a lot of YouTubers do. They sell themselves. They sell products. A lot of YouTubers will look at like the ad revenue. They're like, no, you're crazy. That's, that's not how you make money off of YouTube. You make money off of YouTube because you're selling courses. You're selling your, 
uh, you're selling your like a like a like a like a course that you're making. You're selling T-shirts. Uh, it's a combination of many things. And guess what? You don't see on my channel. Every video is not a commercial. Oh hey, I got this for sale. Oh hey, I got that for sale. Oh hey, I'm selling this. Hey, I'm selling that. You don't get none of that. You'll get a commercial here or there, and it's re revenue. I'll tell you something funny. I'm kind of going on a rant right now, but because I needed to kind of like let let it be known what my feelings about that video were, which I don't care. It's funny. According to YouTube, Lamont at Large makes one hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars a month, or whatever the hell. Whatever the hell. I thought that was pretty funny. I also thought it was funny. So somebody commented on one of my videos and they said. You know, uh, you know what I, you know why I really like your channel. Why is this lady looking at me? I'm just wondering. Okay. This one guy he commented on my channel. He said, "You know why I really like your channel, Lamont? You know why I really like your channel? Because I never get commercials. You're not like those other YouTubers where they put commercials all in your videos. LOL. That's pretty funny." So you mean to tell me that I can't make any money <laughs> from driving from Los Angeles to uh, to Mineral Wells, Texas? I'm, I'm not allowed to make any money. He's he's just thankful that I that he doesn't have to see a five second stupid commercial. And let me add this about the commercial. Um, I believe YouTube has a thing where um, if they skip the commercial, you don't get paid for that or something like that. So that yeah, there's a lot to uh, there's a lot to those videos that you guys don't know about. So I'm done with that uh, with my little rant about that. You know, at the end of the day, uh, and I'm not telling you guys to sit through a a, a, a freaking three minute commercial on my channel. Skip that. Skip that thing. Who cares? Who can? Who? Ca okay, what are you selling? Redwood? And then you got you got a guy. Who's like spamming YouTube, but like, oh, you know, do you know you have like 20 pounds of toxic poop in your colon? Like, come on, Redwood. And then this guy's like talking about uh, men's testicles. Like, like, what, that's all you get is these weird commercials on, on YouTube. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Just got to let that let that out, out of the bag. Uh, Kevin Miller with the 999 from Michigan. Thank you very much, Mr. Miller. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Kimberly Naramore, thank you very much. Uh, Francis Nelson says she emailed me from Battle Creek. Uh, guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I have not been answering my emails in about a month. Uh, I will get to them. I just, I, I've been kind of not talking to anybody or answering text messages or, or Instagram messages or emails just because I'm just right now, I'm like in a mode where I'm just like, don't feel like answering emails and I apologize. Um, I do mean to get to them. The problem is this. I'll tell you exactly. That, and this is a this is a stupid reason. I'll tell you why. I, I sat down and I started answering emails. I answered about four of them, and then somebody called me, and then we started talking. It's just it, it just never ends. With like I just can't sit down. I guess I have ADD because I want to start you know looking up new ideas for stories, and then I start reading stuff, and I was like, eh. I will try to start answering some emails uh, later on today. And I'm supposed to be cleaning my, uh, that is nice, by the way. That is, look at that. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it, it was raining like cray over here. Like cray. Uh, anyways. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, El Yeo with the 299. What's up, bro? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Suzanne Young from Jersey. What is going on? Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for the uh, for the uh, two hundred thousand subscriber. I made a video, so I was like, I made a thank you video. Uh, let's let's go over here. Let's start walking over here. Uh, I made a video just thanking my subscribers for the two hundred k. I appreciate it. Um, something's wrong with my phone. I just got this phone, and uh, the memory card thing is not working i have to get a new memory card and i have to you know find someone to uh, a place to stay so uh it, amazon can send it to me or whatever so anyways thank you very very much uh i appreciate you guys uh nikki Derrison, uh, i love hearing your voice instead of a computer voice thank you very much 
Uh, I'm not a big fan of my voice, but some people do like it. Uh, thank you very, very much. Yeah, I don't listen to none of those channels with it because it's a very annoying. Now, I will say this: there's some, there's some uh, computer voices that are not as annoying as others. However, um, I find that it's uh, just it's mind-numbingly uh, annoying to watch a video. And uh, it's a computer voice. Um, you know, it's just it's just annoying. But uh, and I know some of you guys like my voice, and I know sometimes you know on my channel I'll use other people to do the voiceover at times. And I know, you know, I always hear from you guys like, oh, that's not Lamont at largest voice. Blah 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 blah. I mean, you know, hey, you, uh, after a while you guys will get used to it. Trust and believe. And uh, no, I will not be. I, I just want to rest and sure. I just want to say this really quickly. Um, you, occasionally on my channel, uh, you'll see people doing videos that are not me. Uh, and there, there's really only one person that does that. That's Treasure Troller. He's the only person that will uh, be doing videos on my channel. However, there might there might be, and there will be, another person that's going to be doing videos on my channel every blue moon. Uh, I'm not saying who this person is. This person is not a, 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 a big time YouTuber, but uh, I, I'm trying to get this person who will remain nameless to try to do something on my channel to see how people would react to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Dewan301 with the $5. I appreciate that. Uh, someone said, who's in the Ladies Love Lamont Club? LOL. LOL. That's funny. Uh, Tina Fuentes. What is going on? Hood Kings. In the building from the High Desert Califas. Uh, what's going on? I know Hood Kings is probably watching every single hip hop murder video. I, I you know, I, <laughs> I was gonna do a hip hop murders video uh, out of Atlanta. Uh, I ended up not doing it. So, um, I did start doing the one for King Von. And uh, let me tell you really quick. So I went up to Atlanta, and. I went to the spot where King Von, if, okay, in case you guys don't know who King Von is, King Von was a rapper based out of Chicago. Uh, he was shot and killed, I believe it was on the 6th of November of last year. So he hasn't even been dead six months. Very popular rapper. He wasn't a mainstream rapper because technically the mainstream rappers and the underground hood gangster trap rappers or whatever, uh, drill music rappers, whatever, they've kind of crossed over somewhat. Uh, long story short, I went to the club where he got shot and killed. So I kind of got a shot of the street right where his body was lying. I was absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed that that place is like, I went there in the daytime. It was about four o'clock and it was like, it was like ultra hood, ultra ghetto. People playing like loud rap music, people smoking weed, drinking in the parking lot. I was surprised that there was uh, appeared to be no police presence. Number one, and what was most surprisingly surprising to me, number two, was that there was no rest in peace King Von graffiti. There was no like like a little. I thought there'd be like a little marker where he died, like somebody did graffiti. Nothing, nothing for this kid. Wow, he just got killed, and people forget. That is amazing. That is amazing. The uh, the society that we live in nowadays, where people just kind of forget. So yeah, I don't know. Kind of sad in a, in a way, but, uh, you know, he lived that kind of life. He wanted to live that life. He wanted to be a gangster. Uh, he bragged about taking somebody else's life. So somebody took his. It's uh, called you live by the sword, you die by that same sword in which you welded in life. So very dangerous. Hip hop is just a dangerous game. Every time I keep saying dangerous game, I want to start rapping the... Uh, <laughs> The rap song that that guy made for me. Ah, uh, anyways. 
Uh, thank you very much. Uh, show love. TO3. I appreciate that. Uh, Vic, Vic, Vicky Perry from Moxville, North Carolina's. Uh, somebody said I should go to Kurt Cobain's death house. Uh, I will be in Washington sometime early next year. Uh, somewhere around there, maybe December, January, something like that. Yeah, I'll definitely do that video. I used to work down the street from uh, where he shot himself. I never went to the house, though, because I just I wasn't terribly interested in doing it. But at the time, I didn't have I didn't have a YouTube channel. I mean, I did, but it wasn't I mean, it was just nothing. So I don't know. Uh, Patsy Klein. So I will probably vlog her crash site. Um, I don't know how far I am from her grave. I'll do the videos together. However, I don't know how long that's going to take me. I'm pretty sure I'm going to, uh, drive by her crash site. I don't think I'll just do that video. I think I'll just do the crash site and the grave. We'll see how it works. Uh, we'll see how it works. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be up here. I do need to get back to Texas, though. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much like done with being uh, out here for the time I got to get back to Texas. I got some things to take care of. So, uh, Elena, Alanya Castellanos, or is it, it's either Castellanos, or if you're from the East Coast, it's Castellano because that's an Italian name. If you're from the West Coast, that'll be a uh, Latino name. Is that a proper term latino latina name castellano i think it's castellano i'm gonna guess castellano castellano that was the name of a gangster from new york uh, i think he got killed uh, i i can't wait to do my little mob mobster videos when i get to new york i'm actually not that far from new york right now to tell you the truth if i wanted to if i wanted to drink a three cups of dunkin donuts uh, coffee uh, i could probably drive to new york city possibly uh, by tomorrow afternoon so, yeah. Uh, Diane Salcedo, when uh, when are you visiting Bakersfield again? Uh, that'll be around the same time next year. Yeah, Bakersfield. Um, I don't know anybody there. Um, I do kind of like Bakersfield because it's not Los Angeles. So, yeah. Uh, uh, hood kings yep yep no uh people on youtube like look if i would have if i would have made a youtube channel in 2010 yeah i would be making that money then yeah oh yeah oh yeah no but it, uh that i from what i heard youtubers were making an insane amount of money look at onision this guy onision uh, got hit both of his channels <laughs> all of his channels got uh demonetized right because of that whole allegation stuff with him and the underage girls first of all i haven't really read up on that case enough to really weigh in on my opinion however i haven't seen any definitive proof he's not in jail right now so i have no idea does he like younger girls it looks like he does it wasn't his wife quite a bit younger than him uh he would get quite a bit uh, of, of views back in the days when that guy used to make his videos in his heyday he would get 400,000 views no problem now he can't even crack 7,000 it's amazing what has happened to his channel I personally think he's hilarious but he's not for everybody I think it was just a combination of YouTube stifling his channel and I think people just kind of grew older and they just kind of got tired of him but I think uh, I think Onision is hilarious I really think he's hilarious I think he's talented <coughs> excuse me uh, Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. Uh, I will. Uh, I will be in the Bronx uh, sometime, and hopefully in July. That's my target date. Uh, Sandy Beans with the twenty dollars. She said, "Throw a tarp over that leaky old roof of yours." While I'm sleeping, and a uh, drop of water hits my nose, and I wake up thinking somebody's like uh, tickling me with a feather. It's not. It's, it's the. It's the roof caving in. Thank you, Sandy Beans. I appreciate it. Uh, BD Brown from Philly. Thank you for the love and support, brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Natasha Parker with the 1999 Bang Boom Pow. Thank you very much, Miss Parker. Appreciate that. Uh, sell some T-shirts or stickers. Um, I actually have stickers. Uh, I I have I I uh, a buddy of mine. I don't know if he's in the in the stream. Uh, I don't know if he would get mad if I said who he is or what he does, but uh, uh, if he gets mad, oh well. Time Chaser, 
Uh, he, 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 he hooked me up with some stickers. And here's the problem. Here's the problem with the stickers. First of all, they're not for sale. No, I mean, I'm not selling them. I, I, I will never, ever, 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 ever sell um, stickers, number one. I, I've done that before. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Um, selling t-shirts, it's just, uh, I'm just not that kind of channel, dude. I'm not saying that I'll never do it. I'm not saying that I'm never going to do it. I just, that's not, I'm not a merch channel. It's like, you know, merch is like something that you buy for somebody else. You know what I mean? Unless I sell t-shirts with just my face on it. But who wants to wear a t-shirt with my face on it? Uh, Miss Kaler's in the building. What is going on, Miss Kaler? What is up? Yeah, I, I will be that way eventually. One day I will. Uh, Steph is in the building. What is going on? Uh, Scott on tape. What's up, bro? Yeah. Yeah, he knows, he knows what I'm talking about. He, he knows. He knows what's up. Uh, Mr. Marcos with the $20 super chat. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Mr. Marcos in the building. Uh, Vesper Martini. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, Ray Ray. No. Ray Ray, that's, now is not the time. Now is not the time. Uh, uh, it giveth and it taketh away, as you are well aware. Uh, to Hiroa Hakira, Hakaria from New Zealand. What's up? How we doing? Uh, Dean Suggs. Or is it Denis? I think it's Dean. Uh, Teresa from Omaha. What is up? Uh, Pamela Rainey is offering her place for me to fix my trailer. Uh, I believe, <coughs> excuse me, um, getting kind of dry. I need to take a drag of my coffee. Uh, guys, uh, I need a beer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I can't drink anyways. I'm doing the 40 days no drinking. It's already been, what, 35 days? I actually might do another two months. I have, uh, I'll decide by next Wednesday whether I'm going to continue to not drink. And... Uh, not drinking, uh, does it bother me? Not at all. I'm not an alcoholic, but I do like to drink. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I wouldn't mind a, a Voodoo Ranger IPA right now. Anyways, enough about that. Enough about that. Yeah. Uh, Barbara Mobley, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Cosmos, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Hasina Hussein with the weird sign 999. Love your video. Stay safe and blessed. Thank you very much, Hasina. I appreciate that. Thank you for the love and support. Uh, is that a that is a, so, some kind of weird monetary mark? Must be from the jolly old England. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, do do me a favor, uh, Miss Hussein. Uh, if you're ever in a, uh, I know this is very, this is very low brow, and very crude. Uh, I, but I, I tell every anybody this: uh, if you're in like the, uh, I, I know this is illegal that I'm about to tell you what to do, and I know a lot of you people are going to say like, "Oh, you're disgusting, Lamont. You're you, you know you're trash. You're filth. You're you're scum. I can't believe I watch your channel, your videos. You make me sick right now. I don't know why, but." Any ladies, if you're ever in the restroom, can you just like take a pen and write my channel name on the on the bathroom stall? Don't ask me why. I'm not trying to be crude. I just think that it's hilarious. I, I you know, my my humor is very low brow. I think I think the most weird things are funny. I think that'd be hilarious if somebody wrote my name in the women's bathroom and then another woman seen it. She's like, "Oh, wait, I like this channel actually. This is really odd." <laughs> It is really odd. I can't believe that I was in this bathroom and then I seen this YouTuber and I'm like, I've been watching for two years because somebody wrote the name in the bathroom stall. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just, just a thought, just a thought. But thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, Melody James, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, listen, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I can't believe that I... You know, it almost seemed like it was, well, it was like what, November, October, November, 
when I got to uh, 100,000 subscribers, and then you, you blink your eye and you're at 200,000, you're like, geez, it, would just, uh, it just happened, you know what I mean? And um, I don't know, let's see what happens uh, by the end of the year. You know, I don't like guesstimating and about whatever subscribers I'm going to get or something like that. But uh, who knows at the end of the day, you know, we'll see what happens. Jeffree Star is pretty much canceled. Guys, I know I'm behind on the ch on the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, v Team Paranormal uh, with the Canadian 2099. Thank you very much from Jolly Old Canada. Uh, enjoy your videos very much and stories to share. Thank you very much. V Team. Yes. Paranormal uh, investigators. What's going on? Thank you. Uh, Jeffrey Star is canceled. Well, that's not nice. What, why is everybody getting canceled nowadays? Am I going to get canceled too? I mean, wh what am I going to say? Uh oh, I don't want to get canceled. Guys, you know, listen, I might get canceled. Uh, maybe I'm a part of the cancel club. Does anyone, maybe I should make some t shirts that say, I've been canceled. I don't know. <laughs> canceled. Uh, you know, you know what cancel is? Let me explain really quickly what cancel culture is. Uh, cancel culture is um, eight losers on Twitter. That's it. Eight losers on Twitter. And then the media reacts to these eight morons on Twitter. That's all it is. And then eight, eight idiots will make a company. Like, like for instance, look at uh, what's uh, the Ozzy Osbourne lady. Sharon Osbourne. Simply because she told somebody else, a man that she has known for the better part of 20 some odd years, Pierce Morgan. And I'm not a big fan of Pierce Morgan myself, but who cares? I digress. She had to leave the TV show because she told somebody that I've known Pierce Morgan for years and he's not racist. Tell me how he's racist. Tell me something that he said because I want to know because I want to know for myself. Absolute ridiculousness. Absolute ridiculousness. So now she's canceled because of the eight buffoons on Twitter. That's all it is. Is It's the majority of society, we're normal. I think the 80% of society, I think we're just kind of all the same. I don't care if you're a, um, <clears throat> I don't care if you're Jewish or you're Muslim, you're Christian, you're an atheist, you're Buddhist, whatever, whatever uh, religious um uh, denomination that you're a part of, whatever church, house of worship you go to, Democrat or Republican, I don't care who you voted for, 80% of us are practically the same. We love our families. Uh, we live in these communities. We like to keep our house nice and neat. We don't want anybody to break into our home. We think that if people do that, they should go to jail. Treat everybody with kindness. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated. That is one of my models in life that I always abide by at the end of the day. And then you have the far 10 left, the far 10% right. Everybody meets in the middle. It's, it would be absolutely amazing if we were to figure that out and stop letting the media with their divisive nonsense further divide us by... Uh, by religion, by race, by sex. The media tells you that if you're a certain color, you have to think a certain way. Oh, obviously you're wearing that hat. That means that, you, that you're a racist. And they further perpetuate this nonsense. But sadly, a lot of you in my stream believe this nonsense. And I'm not here to, uh, you know, I don't preach. I'm not a preacher. I know it's, it sounds like I'm giving a sermon right now. But it's just, it just, it bothers me sometimes, you know. It bothers me sometimes. Um, I was in Atlanta. Somebody, I think I was streaming, and somebody said, hey, you should go uh, vlog the Atlanta uh, massage parlor shooting locations. Now, I'm going to, uh, if anybody's from Atlanta, don't take this to offense, uh, but Atlanta is kind of a dump. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I'm not going to go into any <laughs> major details of why I don't care for it. Um, it's just, a, it's just the, the roads are messed up. There's way too much traffic. Everybody looks at me like they want to shoot me in the face. I don't know what it is about Atlanta. I'm not a big fan of it at all. Anywhere around Atlanta is fine. Macon, Rome, uh, Cobb County, um, uh, Augusta, Savannah. Georgia's a nice state. It's just that Atlanta, I don't care for it. And I didn't stay there. There was a lot of videos I wanted to do in Atlanta, and I just didn't do them because I just didn't want to stay there because I just don't like that place.
Just don't like it. Number one, it's just the traffic. You really can't get around that place. You can't really get around the traffic. But, um, you know, about that massage parlor shooting stuff, they're, they're blaming... Well, who do they blame first? Of course, they're, you know, they're going to blame Donald Trump because he's the one that actually pulled the trigger and killed those people. Uh, no, the guy was a nutcase. The guy said, like, he wanted to stop. He said something along the lines of, yeah, I want to, you know, I have, an addic I have a sex addiction, so these people should be murdered. He was, a, he was a crazy person. Like the guy in Colorado. Of course, everybody's coming out of the woodwork. Oh, I know who's to blame. I know who's to blame. Oh, oh, and then, and then we see... This guy has a Muslim name. Oh, well, he's a terrorist. And then we jump to conclusions without reading the story, without the facts getting in, and then the facts come in. No, he was a nutcase. Oh, well, then the president, President Biden says that we should ban assault weapons. Well, you know, hey, I don't, first of all, I don't know what an assault weapon is. <laughs> if you want to label a type of weapon based on the, um, the structure of it, an assault weapon, then I guess all weapons are assault weapons because you could take a pistol that has a 15 round magazine and they put like a little plastic thing for your shoulder. Oh, that's an assault pistol now. Anyway, it's not getting into that, but I'm just saying, no, he was a nutcase and he committed these murders with a pistol. It wasn't even an assault. We jump to conclusions before we get the facts in. That's what I'm saying, guys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Look at these old graves. Look at these old graves. Somebody said that uh, Jeffree Star is a joke. You know, let me tell you something, sir. Let me tell you something about Jeffree Star being a joke. Now listen, do I think it's funny that a grown man has made tens and tens and tens and tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars off of makeup that he wears himself? I, I think that's funny, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's funny. I think it's funny. But also, this that is what makes this country great, is that a guy could just be like, I love makeup. And <laughs> he employs a lot of people. A lot of people work for that guy. And a lot of women buy his makeup, and I guess it's good quality. I don't know. I don't really know makeup. But let me tell you something. You say that he's a joke. I don't think he's a joke because Jeffree Star one day could see my video. Jeffree Star could watch my video and say, like, yeah, you know what? He's a little bit raw. He's a little uncouth, uncouth, uncouth. But you know what? Um, this guy does what? He goes to where? Oh, I want to talk to this guy. You never know. You never know who's watching at the end of the day. So he might be a joke to you. But to me, <laughs> you never know. But I do think it's funny that he makes a lot of money off makeup. So, yeah. Uh, Lisa Yamada from Maui, Hawaii. What is going on? Uh, Lauren Rainville from uh, Canada. Much love and spiritual energy coming your way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Nina Ray all day, every day to the day uh, with the 999. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Houston, Texas couple says me and my husband want to do a makeup channel. Well, I, hey, I want to do a makeup channel too. I was just telling Kale, I said, you know what would be hilarious? And I, you know, I can't. I just, th these are the kind of dumb things that I think about all day long. What if I did a video where, you know, I'm like, I'm talking about a story. So I'm about to talk about this guy. So I'm like, yeah, so this guy was born in, you know, wherever. And then I, I flip the camera around and I, and then I, I have like eyeshadow on or something. Like very subtle, right? Very, very subtle. Right. And then the camera goes back around. And then I'm talking about this guy. And all of a sudden, I got blush on my face. And then the camera goes around. And I keep on talking. And then all of a sudden, my eyebrows are impeccably manicured. Wouldn't that be interesting, to say the least? The camera pans around again. I'm talking, talking, talking. And next thing you know, I'm wearing a purple Afro wig with lipstick and all that good stuff on. Who knows? Would I do that? Of course not. But... I think it'd be funny. The kinds of stupid things that I think about. That's what it is. Uh, Samantha Kirisol. Hopefully I didn't say your name wrong. Kirisol. Uh, ABC's in the building. What is up? 
Uh, Sandra Quintana, thank you very much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, I'm so sorry that I'm behind on the comments. I, I try to like read people's comments and scour through, but yeah, you guys are saying that you love Bailey Sarian. Yeah, no, she's, you know, I, I will say this. I can't say that I'm not a fan of her channel. I just, I just, I don't watch people that sit around and talk about crimes. I, I just don't, I, I'll watch like Forensic Files, Unsolved Mysteries. I'll watch Medical Detectives. I'll watch Snapped sometimes. Uh, yeah, but I, or, or I'll read the story. But uh, yeah, she's very popular. <clears throat> she really needs to shout me out one day. Uh, listen, Bailey, uh, if you're, listen, baby, if you am just, <laughs> listen, Miss Arian, let, let me be respectful. Let me be respectful over here. I'm over here now. Uh, it, it, she needs to. She needs to. She needs to show me some love. She needs to. She needs to. She needs to. Uh, she needs to acknowledge my existence on this planet. I'm just saying. She needs to. Uh, someone said the pepper spray that dog from back there. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, let me tell you something. The hand, the finger was on the trigger. Uh, let me tell you. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, Tracy Roth Myers with the 499. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I know, guys. I know I'm behind on the comments. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm trying to go through the comments as quick as I can. I'm trying, anyways. Uh, don't use HR Block if you are facing difficulty with IRS as a CPA. Yeah, I already know that. I just said HR Block just because it came to my mind. Yeah, I know. Trust and believe, man. I don't even want to talk about it, but yeah, no, you're totally right. Um. <clears throat> Uh, Latin Lady Love from Cape Coral. I was just down there. Lovely, lovely town, Cape Coral. <clears throat> I love, I, well, no, I don't want to say I love Cape Coral. But, uh, yeah, Naples. I was down in, I was, I was down in the Naples area. Cape Coral is like Fort Myers. Uh, Punta Gorda <clears throat> down there. Very nice over there. Very, very nice. Uh, Frances Nelson, always, always. Uh, Mystical Hair, what is up? <clears throat> you haven't been participating in the Clown Wars. What is going on? Uh, please uh, log into your account and proceed with cautious. caution. Thank you very much for the $5. Uh, Lucy Blue with the pound 299. How we doing? Thank you very much. And uh, Maloon Kuntanis, 30316, is congratulating me for the 200k thank you very very much uh yellow submarine uh, how are we doing what is up what is up what is up uh pie pie's mommy that's a that's a that's an adorable name thank you very very much i appreciate that uh bailey adrian probably meant sarian Dang voice to text. I can't stand it on my new phone. The voice to text is horrible. I don't even use it. It's it's uh it's horrible. Uh issue a warning about the content of her channel. <laughs> um I think you guys know what you're gonna see. I think the title of my video says it all. Now I will say this. Uh let me let me tell you about the next video that I'm gonna do that there is gonna be a warning. So I'm going to put a video on my channel. It's actually going to be an interview. I'm not going to say who I'm going to interview. <clears throat> I just, I, first of all, I want to say this. I'm not going to turn this channel into something different. It's going to remain the same. Um, I do kind of have an interview channel. I just haven't really done anything yet. I don't really have the, I can't say I don't have the time to do the interview channel. I just, I don't know. It's, I don't go out looking for people on the street to interview. It's just kind of time consuming, but um, this will probably be one of the very few interviews I ever do on my channel. And it's, a, it's an interview with somebody who has a very interesting story about something that happened to them. And um, there will definitely be a warning in that, in that interview because uh, look, I, I told the guy, I said, if you want to cuss, go ahead. I don't care. I don't cuss, but that doesn't mean you you can't cuss. If somebody comes on my channel, if you want to cuss, go ahead. I mean, if I'm doing a, a collab and they cuss, I'll bleep it out, whatever. But uh, this guy, hey, if he wants to say the S word or the C word or the whatever word, go on ahead. I, you know, so uh, I'm going to probably do the interview with him. I'm guessing tomorrow, 
and maybe the video will be out I want to say maybe sometime in the next week or two we'll see what happens uh, Rhea number three with the 499 what's going on how we doing uh, Sandra Makovic uh, thank you I appreciate that appreciate that Uh, Mr. Sacra nine one six King, uh, are you a are you a fan of the Sacramento Kings? You guys have not been doing too well for the last uh, ever since Peja Stojakovic, Chris Weber, Hito Turkoglu, what was his name? The Jackson Reggie or Ricky Jackson? Yeah, you guys had a boss team. You guys just could not. You guys just choked. Your championship was supposed to happen in two thousand and one. You guys just could not get it together. Oh, uh, Mike Bibby. Don't forget about Mike Bibby. And uh, what about the, the Scott guy with the hair? Yeah, you guys had a solid, solid, solid team. If you guys had one more three-point shooter, that's all you, you guys needed. A, you guys needed a 16-point-a-game guy to beat the Lakers. Did you guys, but you guys just choked it away. You guys choked it away. Yeah, I, I, was, I was watching that game. I was so angry. I thought they were going to win. But you couldn't. You just couldn't keep it together. That's the difference between champions and non-champions. But uh, I'm not trying to rub it in your face. I'm just saying it's the truth. Uh, somebody asked me if I smoke. No, I do not. Uh, but I do want to smoke a black and mild right now. Does anybody have one? Uh, Cindy Rosales with the $5. Thank you very much, Miss Rosales. I do got to get rid of that toxic poop. That's why maybe I should buy some Redwood. Uh, Pecan Baby, you should set up PayPal account so that YouTube won't take a big chunk of your super chat. Much love from Northern Ireland. Uh, yeah, I should do that. Get into the stream yards and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, I, I keep forgetting. I don't live stream a whole lot, so it's not a huge concern to me. And, you know, listen, at the end of the day, I think this. Um, I've had YouTubers that I used to be a fan of their channel, and I would go in there on their super chats. I'd throw them a couple bucks or whatever, and uh, they're like, yeah, I turned my super chat off because YouTube's taking too much. It's like, well, you know, if it wasn't for YouTube building their infrastructure, you wouldn't be anything. You would be living... Uh, in your mom's basement, uh, wearing a pair of dirty, disgusting socks and scratching yourself watching Family Guy episodes. I'm just thankful that I was given this opportunity, this platform to kind of show you guys where I travel to, show you guys a passion of mine. And the passion of mine is, uh, you know, showing graves, going to the cemeteries, uh, you know, trying to upright uh, graves, feeding cats wherever I go. Uh, going to crime scenes or where murders happen, stuff like that, you know. I'm just a lucky guy at the end of the day. Just a lucky guy. There's my, there is my, my very big shadow. I put on quite, I haven't put on any weight. I just haven't lost any. So, yes. Uh, mystical hair, no, no problem. It's always good. It's always good to, uh, to, uh, to work. That's for sure. Uh, Miss Minicozzi, long time no see. What is going on? Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Hopefully you're doing well. Yes. Somebody says they don't like voiceovers. Um, it's kind of a part of my channel, but uh, yeah. This guy has a, pl a plaque on his stone. Let me go read it. Somebody says it looks like I eat very well. Are you trying to say that I'm fat, sir? I don't appreciate that. Uh, this guy killed in action while serving as deck officer on the USS Battleship Colorado during the Lingayen Gulf engagement in the Philippine Islands, buried in the China Sea near the entrance of Lingayen Gulf Longitude. Oh, wow. So this is not even his grave. This is he was buried in China, in the China Sea. Wow, that sucks. So I guess they sunk his ship and he, he went down with the ship. Damn, that sucks to have your son. That sucks to have your son just, he, he goes to war and he never comes back. He was a young man too. What was he 28 years old? Jeez. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> 
Uh, Ryan Reed TV, uh, what up, Doe? Detroit, Michigan in the building. I hope to make it up to uh, Detroit, Michigan sometime uh, this summer. Hopefully. Thank you for the 10 spot, my friend. I appreciate it very, very much so. My mom never came to Tennessee. I'd totally buy him some barbecue. Oh, wow. Is that a, is that a promise? Well, maybe I should go up to Tennessee. Maybe I'm already here. You never know where I'm at. I guess you guys will have to, uh, have to find out. Uh, Miss Reagan is in the building. Somebody said, some Miss Reagan, what is up? Uh, Frankie Carey with the $10 spot, spotto. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. There's a uh, statue of a child. Yes. Uh, time chaser in the building. Uh, somebody screamed Buford Pusser. Uh, I'll have to. Let me um, let me figure out if I if I have time to do that vlog because I'm actually man really trying to get to Texas. I barely want to do the videos that I want to do out here, but um, l uh, I'll I'll I know somebody emailed me that about uh, two months ago. Uh, I don't know where he's buried at. Uh, I'm 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 possibly not very far away from where he's at. So. Uh, Megan McKean McNeely, thank you very much. Uh, are you related to Peter McNeely, the man who got destroyed by Mike Tyson when he got out of prison in 1996? That trucker, Wes B, with the 999, thank you very much. Keep grinding those gears. One day, one day you'll figure out uh, the proper RPM to slide the, sh the stick shift from four to five. Or is that me that has a problem with the splitter? One day I will figure it out. Uh, I'm not visiting any grave here. I'm just uh, walking around. That's all. That's it. Uh, it's like people like to ignore me. Was you Scotty Kilmore don't like to respond to me? I'm going to have to make a video talking about it on my page. Uh, I would tell you to do so. Yeah, if, if, if a YouTuber makes you angry, you should make a, you should make a YouTube video because people will watch that video if they watch that YouTuber. So if I was angry at uh, said YouTuber, I would make a YouTube video. That way more people will watch my video than average because I'm talking about that YouTuber. Can you imagine guys? Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a, 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 I'll tell you a perfect example. I'll tell you a perfect example of a YouTuber who if uh, on my channel, like if I, if I were a drama channel, I would start drama with, uh, uh, who's who's a uh, Kendall Ray? No, or or Bailey Sarian, or any of the any of the true crime women. Oh, I'll start drama all day long. I'll get a nice thumbnail of me and Bailey Sarian, right? Get get my face makeup out. Get my face all makeup out, and I'll put her face right here, and I'll just look at her like this, and then she'll like you know be with a yellow or purple or red or whatever color pink whatever i'm exaggerating my hand movements and then i would just look at her like that that's a hundred that's a hundred thousand <laughs> that is a hundred thousand view video i'm gonna guess uh, very quickly but i'm not about that life not about that life guys but I could be that cringy YouTuber. I could have been that cringy YouTuber who uploaded the video. I could have gone out of my van and ran to George Anthony and said, uh, la, 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 la. like, you know, hey, man, you blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that video would have got cringy views, but I didn't want to, man, because I felt bad for that guy. I felt bad for, like, taking my camera and pointing it at him. I was like, I can't do that, man. Can't do that. Oh, can't do it, guys. Can't do it. Uh, Debbie Augustine with the uh, pound 999 from Jolly Old England. What is going on? Uh, you should do the Rocky Top murders in Gatlinburg. Nobody's ever done it or the Lily murders in Greenville. Um, Rocky Top murders in Gatlinburg. 
I don't know how far I am from there. Gatlin, Rocky Mountain, Rocky what? Rocky, Rocky Top Murders. Uh, my uh, my uh, moderator will write that down. Rocky Top Murders. Okay, I'll check that out. I will check that out. Thank you. Uh, Mafia's from Chicago. That'll be a good one for Compton, California. Uh, I, you know, I will be in Chicago, but it won't be until the summertime because I, I, I suspect, I highly suspect that I will be in Texas for at least the next two months. Not in Texas per se, but um, the only three states that I'm going to be at in April and May is Texas, Oklahoma, or Louisiana. It's one or the other. I won't be doing too much traveling. Uh, but then once July hits, hopefully I'll get my license back from Texas and then I'll hit the road. So Chicago, here I come. Uh, crash sites in Clear Lake, uh, Buddy, Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. Uh, I know that many people have done that video. Um, I mean, I would do it if I were close by. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I, when I leave Texas, um, the only city that I know of that I want to hit on the way east is St. Louis. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, Gainer Elenius, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, Tabora Summers Cooper, grab a coffee. Love from the UK. I, I'm going to grab another one. This is my second cup today. I've drink too much coffee. I should. I need to slow down. I need to slow down. Uh, Frankie Carey chipping in again with another ten dollars. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Ray Ray, if only you knew, Ray Ray, if only you knew. Uh, Chris P. Bacon. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I actually laughed. Chris, no, I, 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 cause I thought you were like a Bacon brother, but there's also a good story about a Bacon person that was named after Kevin Bacon. I mean, he wasn't named after Pe Kevin Bacon, but his name was also, I believe, Kevin Bacon, or at least his last name was Bacon. He is the other guy from, uh, what was it, the uh, grinder where the guy like ate him or something? Uh, yeah, I definitely got to do that video. Kevin Bacon actually paid for his funeral. That was really awesome of him. That was really, really awesome. Kevin Bacon, that, he's, he's got to be a good guy. You just pay for some stranger's you know, uh, funeral just because his last name was Bacon. I believe his name was Kevin Bacon as well. So awesome guy. Chris P. Bacon. That's pretty funny. I like that. Uh, someone says merch is tacky. I agree. I agree. I think merch is very tacky, but I will say this. Um, have I ever bought merch off of another YouTuber? I would. If, if, if there's a couple of YouTubers, if they had merch, I would buy it. I keep forgetting to get my JG Jericho Green hat. Uh, I would buy a hat off of him and I'm going to. I just need an address to get a set too. Jay Coffee Talk in the building. What's up, bro? Jay Coffee Talk in the building, guys. If you like uh, podcast style, hip hop news, sports, more, uh, maybe uh, maybe he'll do, uh, maybe he'll put in a little bit of a true crime here and there. Talk about a crime. I keep telling him to throw in a crime here and there. Uh, Jay Coffee Talk. That's my boy. What's up, bro? Uh, we do it over there. I Jay, I was just saying earlier how I went. Uh, it's funny that you mentioned that. Uh, by the way, uh, Jay Coffee Talk did a video about uh, how the, the the guy that shot King Von he actually made bail. I can't believe. You know what? His bail was only a hundred thousand dollars. He must not have much of a criminal record. You know, I tell you what. First of all, him getting that bail and getting out of prison, you look a lot better fighting a murder charge outside of jail than inside of jail. Number one. Uh, number two, you know, listen, I don't know if he has any information to give the police on other uh, crimes that were occurred. But let me tell you something. The detectives are stepping quick to that guy and they're saying, like, listen, uh, we know, you know, you shot him. It was self-defense. I don't know. Was that a legal gun? I have no idea. I have not read into the case hardcore enough to see, like, to, for me to do the vlog yet. But, um, yeah, he's out of jail. So we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Uh, Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? From Las Vegas, Nevada. What is up? Uh, grave of Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke. Uh, yeah, I'll go to New York. Um, I, I, I'll probably have to have somebody do the L.A. part for me. 
uh, I don't really know. I only know of one person in LA that could do it for me, but they're not in LA right now. So blah, 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 blah. Uh, should check out Holt Cemetery City Park, New Orleans, where there, whenever you're down that area, it's the only ground cemetery. It's the only in-ground cemetery there, Holt. I know that name because there's somebody there that I'm going to do a vlog about. They're buried at the Holt Cemetery. Is that where the guy families are buried, Akil? Holt Cemetery? Somebody's buried at the Holt Cemetery. It's either the guy family or uh, or the or the guy that was executed uh, that they based a the movie with uh, Sean, Penn, Sean Penn playing his... Uh, what What's that movie? Something with Susan Sarandon and Sean Penn. I don't watch movies, so I have no idea. I, I actually hate movies, and they, they, they like, I don't like movies at all whatsoever. But I don't even remember the last movie I watched in a the movie theater. What was the, what was the last movie? The last movie that I watched in a the movie theater was RoboCop Four, or was it Rambo Five? Oh, you know what's a good movie that I? You know what's a movie that I I I. I had to watch just because of the title, uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Slayer. That was a pretty funny movie. Not, not, not funny, haha, but it's funny how it was like written. I think they should do another President Vampire. Why don't they do a Joe Biden uh, uh, Vampire Slayer? That'd be kind of funny. Of course, yeah, they'd have to get the, an actor that kind of flubs his words when he talks. So, uh, low blow, I know, low blow, low blow. Uh, Hasina Hussein, oh, you are making me blush. Oh. My dear, thank you very much. Very beautiful you are. Thank you very much. Oh, but about that, about you writing my name in that bathroom. Yeah, I was actually quite serious. Uh, if you can email me uh, your address, I'll send you a Mark's lot. Or if you can just pick one up at the, uh, I, don't, I know you guys got drugstores over there. Just a little bit, Lamont at large YouTube, that's all. Here and there, I'm not, I'm not telling you to, to like vandalize every bathroom and from here to uh, Nottingham. <laughs> But I am actually serious, though. And then if you could take a picture and send it to me of whatever bathroom graffiti you've you've made, uh, please let me know. But thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're very kind. Uh, Shelly Samantha from uh, Canada. What's going on? I got a lot of Canadians in the building. A lot of Canadians. Uh, Nancy Volk in the building from Puerto Rico. Are you guys going to become a state or what? What's going on with Puerto Rico? You guys want to be a state? Do you really want state? Do you really want to be a part of this country? Uh, don't worry about it. Just all, all I ask is that when you go on Facebook, uh, share my channel. On uh, just go to a Facebook group and you know just go to that group and you know if it's a cemetery group, just share my share my my YouTube channel. And if they tell you, hey, stop spamming our group, you're not allowed to share. YouTube channels. Well, you, need to tell, you just tell them, you know what? This guy doesn't need his video shared with you anyways. I'm out of here. I'm packing up. I'm hitting the road. I don't need this nonsense. What am I talking about? Who knows? We got uh, Vanessa Silva from Alagoas, Alagoas, Brazil. Or as the Brazilians call it, Brasil. It's not spelled with a Z. Why do we spell it with a Z when there's no Z in it? It's not Brazil, it's Brazil. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, Chelafel13 says, if I ever need a place to crash in Lancaster, PA. Lancaster County. Yeah, I, I, let me tell you something. If anybody in here is in Philly, hit me, email me. If anybody in here has a a uh, farm, a driveway in Philadelphia, any part of New Jersey, Long Island, let me know. I'm serious. I'm serious. Uh, Ricardo Sepulveda with the uh, with the Nor Norwegian fifty knocks. I don't know what a knock is, but thank you very much. Sepulveda, that's an odd name from Norway. Are you born in Norway? Sepulveda is a, uh, isn't that a, a Spanish name? Just wondering, I don't know. Just wondering. Uh, Ray Ray, thank you, I appreciate that. Kind of not the, well, you know, listen, uh, better, better, better something than nothing. 
Uh, L Luna with the uh, 499. Thank you very much, Miss Luna. I appreciate it. Miss Luna, yeah, guys, uh, any bathrooms? I don't care. Hey, hey, email me the pictures. I, I love stuff like that. I don't know why. I'm just weird. I'm just weird. I don't know. Because I'm just weird. I'm just a weirdo at the end of the day. That is, that is it. This is a nice cemetery. I've walked around it for quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Debbie Gavan Castle from uh, Wrexham, North Wales. What is going on? Uh, you know, listen, I, 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 I invite the guys to also share in the vandalism that I am, you know, promoting. The promoting of of, of bathroom uh, bathroom graffiti. You know, I'm not. Listen, listen, guys, listen. Uh, between me and the uh, 675 people in here, listen. I'm not telling you guys to write dirty jokes. I'm not telling you guys to draw the anatomy of men and women or disgusting things like that. No, 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 no. I'm trying to change uh, bathroom graffiti culture, one mind at a time. The YouTube thing. Uh, you know what? Do I do it? Yes. I do, I do write my name, I do write my name in bathroom stalls from Wisconsin to California and from Minnesota to Texas. Sometimes people, that will, they'll come in my stream like, hey man, I seen you in a bathroom in Jacksonville. Oh yeah, there, there you go. That's me. That is me. I, I did it. I did it. And what? I have yet though to hear from a owner of a bathroom, gas station bathroom that did not to take too kindly to me writing my name on the bathroom stall in black or red marks a lot i have yet to hear from him so. uh shelly evans is uh inviting me to middlesboro kentucky i don't know whenever i'm gonna get to middlesboro kentucky I know I'm not terribly far from Kentucky, but I, I know I had, there was an interesting story in Kentucky, but I'm probably not going to go there anytime soon. But thank you for the offer, and who knows, keep, in, keep tabs with me. You never know. But, of course, uh, uh, lunch has to be provided for me to show up. Lunch. Lunchtime. Uh, that is why you need to sell stickers if you want your name around. Or you can take my name and write it in the bathroom of a public place next time you go. See, that way you're saving yourself a couple bucks, you're helping promote my channel, and you're introducing my channel to somebody that would never know my channel unless they were using the same bathroom that you used previously. Hashtag Airwick. Someone with the $20 super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, Pammy Whammy claims that that's how she found my channel is from uh, some kind of bathroom graffiti. See, I don't know if she's telling the truth, but you see, maybe she is. You never know. You never know. Uh, Glenda and Ron Monteruso uh, with the 1999. Uh, thank you, Glenda and Ron. Uh, the Monterussos. Thank you. I appreciate it very much, guys. I appreciate the support. Uh, you, you don't even know. I know you guys don't have to send me anything. And I was still, I was still live stream, you know, and I don't, I, I just want to say this, um, not to like toot my own horn, but toot, toot, I'll toot my own horn really quickly. I, I know I could live stream more often and get donations, but I don't do that. You know what I mean? I, I don't like to uh, take advantage of people's generosity because I, I feel bad for doing it. That's why I live stream, I, what is it, like every week or every other week? I, I, I switch. Sometimes I'll do it every week, but I think I'm doing it every other week now. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'll go down to like once a month. I don't think I'll do that, but you know. I don't like to let three weeks go by without live streaming, but I don't want to live stream every week because I know you guys will probably get bored of me. But I do want to try to keep it uh, on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? That sun is going to be up in the sky for about another two hours. I could start cleaning out my van, but uh, and I will shortly. Shortly, I will. Uh, Tracy Rothmeyer says that she donated too. Yes, you did. Thank you very much again. I appreciate it. Uh, David Lopez, him and his wife, I appreciate uh, my... Uh, Investigative vlogging, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And uh, Rebecca Roderick from England. Uh, no Nolan, what is up, Nolan? How we doing? Uh, you should do a video on Doctor Kev Warkin. Which video has the? Which video have you made the most money on? Oh, well, I mean, I can I can answer that question. All you got to do is look at that five million view video. I mean, the more views you get, the more money you make. So that one was it. Uh, 
that one was it, even though I didn't get full monetization. I mean, you still get, you still got 5 million views. So there you go on that video. Don't ask me what I would have got if it was 100% all to the good. Uh, but there you go. Oh, Dr. Kevorkian. Oh, you better believe, you better believe I'm doing that video. When I get to Detroit, uh, Dr. Kevorkian, he comes to mind. Um, I want to do, uh, I'm going to do like a Motown Legends video where I do all those Motown singers in one, in one shot. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say too many of my ideas because we got uh, Scott on tape in here. He might want to take one of my ideas and uh, get 5 million views out of it. That would make me very, very angry. But uh, <laughs> he's like, hey, I'm Scott on tape. So actually I got this really cool vlog idea and now I'm here. No, no, but there is no, but seriously, there is a, um, I can't, you know, there's a, uh, there's a video that I want to do that has nothing to do with a murder. Um, I'm just, I, it just came to me like the, like about a, a week ago, like, you know, what would be funny. And I don't, I, I'm not saying like funny, haha. I'm saying like, it would be kind of cool. Cause you know, cause I, I don't think if, I don't think maybe if people really have thought about this, what if I did a video about a viral video that, that came from a certain video camera? Like, let's say for instance, okay, I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. See that tree right there. Say there was a camera on that tree and this kind of happened in my vlog where, you know, I did the, the video about the girl who was supposedly caught on camera. I'll let you guys decide if you whether you believe it or not. I don't know, but like, let's just say, for instance, let's say we're not at a cemetery. Let's say we're at uh, on the street corner. Let's say that I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, this is a store, and they have a surveillance video. Let's say the video caught a a a scene of a woman pulling out a gun and shooting a bunch of like uh, shooting like a road rage or something like that, right? So let's say nobody got killed. Um, if this video got 10 million views, um, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of an interesting video for me to show the video camera where it shot, where it happened. So I'm thinking about that for Detroit, um, doing a video where nobody got killed, but a similar thing like that happened. And it was a woman who shot somebody. And if you, you guys already probably know what video I'm talking about, I'm talking about the black chick, kind of light skinned. She had cornrows. She's kind of cute, by the way. Uh, and she pulled out a gun out of her, out of her, under her skirt and shot some guy. I want to do a video where I go to that gas station where that shooting happened. And the reason why I want to do the story is because the woman was, I mean, who, who would ever thought that a woman would have a gun under in her garter belt, number one. And the guy that she shot, um, the brother came and wrestled the gun away from her and then took the gun and started shooting back at the people and he went to jail for that he went to jail for defending himself because he was a convicted felon in possession of a weapon a ridiculous charge i kind of want to bring light to that story because not a lot of people know that that guy i don't know if he i don't know if he got prison time for it but he went to jail for that which i thought was totally ridiculous so i wanted to kind of do a story about what happened right there moving along uh detroit one of my favorite authors um Daniel Goins, he's buried there. I believe his murder still is unsolved. So I wanted to do a video about him. I believe his murder was unsolved. I don't think it's been solved. Just saying. Uh, the Aqua Adventurer from Northern Ireland. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, Jacob Martinez from Califas. Or California like the normal people say. <sighs> I am Shazad from Pakistan. That's what I love YouTube, man. Uh, Pakistan, probably a country that I would never visit. Hear a lot of bad things about Pakistan. Is it a dangerous country? Uh, it depends on who you are. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure people in Pakistan are generally the same as people here. But then you always got bad people. You got bad people here. You got bad people there. If I were to go to Pakistan, I would want to vlog the scene where uh, uh, ben Benzir Bhutto, she was the prime minister elected uh, in Pakistan. She was assassinated via a bomb. 
I'd like to vlog that. I could think about that in Pakistan. Uh, what else could I think about in Pakistan? Is it, wasn't Osama bin Laden captured or at least killed? No, he, no, he was killed and then they, they got his body. Uh, yeah, Pakistan. Why can't I go there? Is it safe? I don't know. If I had a, if I had a, a friend in Pakistan, he was like, yeah, man, just come over here. Yeah, sure, I will go to Pakistan, but uh, I'm, I'm not trying to smuggle any kind of drugs, and I don't want to be on, I almost got away with it, or I don't want to be on, like, you know, locked up abroad, or they call it banged up abroad and overseas, so I definitely won't. I'll have to check my baggage, because um, I don't know. If I went to go visit this guy, Shazad Reevesy, what's it, your name, Shazad? Yeah, see, I, I'd have to be careful, because he might smuggle, he might put some, like, hash, hashish in my, in my carry-on luggage, and the next thing you know, I'm in some uh, Pakistani prison. And I'm like, I can't believe I'm in a Pakistani prison all because somebody said hello in my chat and then invited me over and I came over and now I'm in prison doing 10 years, hard labor. These are the kind of silly things that go through my mind. That's why I'm very cautious and very careful about who I meet. Sorry guys, I know I'm very, very behind in the chat. I'm trying to, trying to, yeah. Uh, do I ever come across the border to Canada? No, I, I have a criminal record guys, I'm a scumbag. Former scumbag, I'm a reformed scumbag, but nevertheless a scumbag. Uh, I could go over the border as long as they don't run my name. If they run my name, they won't let me in because I have a criminal record. I don't have any felonies or anything of ill repute or any bad, creepy. I'm sure some of you guys out there, I got 200,000 subscribers. I'm pretty sure five of you have ran a uh, ran my name through a background check company to see. I'm sure some of you guys were like really, really hoping that I had some kind of disgusting disgusting crime on my rap sheet and then you could have spilled the beans and exposed me exposed Lamont Dorsey yeah none of that none of that at all but uh, yeah Canada not a lot of videos that I want to do in Canada the, o the only one video that I want to do in Canada and I can't I can't say it because uh, it's got it's a secret I don't like talking about video ideas that I have because then I won't do it I, I will say this, however, I will make an attempt uh, to go into uh, Canada, Canada via Toronto, I promise, this year when I get up to New York. I'll try to see if I can cross over. We'll see if they let me in. If they let me in, I'll do the video. Of course, before I go into Canada, I will be filling up my gas tank with, uh, with, my, uh, with that good old 100% American gas. Because I believe in Canada, gas is twice as expensive. Or whatever, so yeah. Uh, come to Colorado one day. I will. I got a lot of stories over there. Uh, London strolling with the dollar pound, pound one dollar. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna sit on this uh, bench for a while. Why? Because I want to. That's why. I have. Uh, I have no reason. Somebody left a penny. Somebody left a penny. Okay, well, let's turn it around so you can see my face. And I have to turn it around again. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Uh, sorry, guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm behind in the, uh, I know you guys can't see me. I'm behind in the chat. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, trying to like not breeze through the chat. I'm trying to answer people's uh, comments, trying to breeze through it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just trying. Uh, heroin soup. Thank you very much. That is an awesome troll name, by the way. Heroin soup. Uh, somebody said Donald Trump is the worst president ever. Uh, I, I think we can find the worst president ever is, uh, who's the one that invented slavery? <laughs> is there a president that started slavery? George Washington had slaves. Uh, but he was the first president, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, Herbert Hoover wasn't a very good president. He's looked upon as the, uh, worst president ever just because of his failed policies. But, uh, I'm not much of a, uh, historian, so I don't know. You could be right. Who knows? You could be right. And your feelings could obviously be hurt very, very easily from what I'm guessing. Uh, Kelly Myers uh, with the $20. Thank you very much, Miss Myers. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, my eyes are beautiful. You are correct. <laughs> Getting a little bit full of myself, but uh, thank you very much. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate that. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, someone says wear a kilt and not a skirt and pull out a gun or something. I don't know. Uh, I know I know I'm like uh, really behind uh, someone Tyreek Zaba from Botswana, Africa. Uh, is that a country or a city in Africa? Uh, Botswana. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, London Sterling, thank you for the 200. I appreciate that. Uh, mystical hair uh, for the five dollars. I would like to do face paint and maybe body paint instead of makeup. That's yeah, makeup is where it's at. Yeah, makeup is where it's at. At the end of the day, they 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 love uh, you know people love makeup. You know what I mean? If I started doing the makeup where I you know like I was telling you how I would turn the camera around and then and then all of a sudden my you know something is done or what have you, then uh, you know I, I would become immensely popular on YouTube. Everybody would love me. Uh, yeah. Uh, Trigger Lopez, Critter from the Ultimate. Yeah, you must know me from a long time ago, bro. What is up? Critter, Critter. Yeah, that was my thing back in the day. You have called the Ultimate Chat Line. Uh, Jasmine Monique, what is going on? How are we doing? What's up? Uh, welcome to Shelly's Crazy Train from uh, Michigan. Uh, where if the bullets don't kill you, the water will with the $5. Thank you very much. Uh, your water is not very good, and um, you have only one person to blame. I won't mention who they are, but uh, we all know who they are, the smart-minded people that are watching me right now. Um, oh, you sent me $5 last week. Well, thank you very much, Rocksteady. I see you. Thank you very much. Uh, Joni Winter, what is going on? How are we doing? Hope everything is going good. Uh, Belmont Calgary Ops says, next video is going to be good. How do you know? The next video is, uh, no, the next video that I'm going to put up is probably just, you know, ev thanking everybody for the 200,000 subscribers. Um, I, I know I, I know I uploaded the uh, grave of Esther Rowe from Good Times, but uh, uh, me and uh, my editor, uh, we both uh, made a mistake and we had to delete the video quickly, but that video will be back up uh, probably Wednesday for sure. I'll upload it. Uh, Star Star wants to know, can I do the gravesite of Shania, Shania, Shania Davis? I think it's Shania. Shania Davis, the little girl who was murdered in Sanford, North Carolina. I, uh, Shania Davis, uh, North Carolina. I don't know when I'm going to get to North Carolina. It depends. Um, there's a good chance I may not be getting to North Carolina this year. We'll see, though. Can you do Ronnie Defoe? You just died. No way. No way. Is this a troll? Is this a troll? Is this a troll? Hold on. There's no way that guy just said, what? Hold on. See, I hate when trolls do this because I don't know if they're trolling or they're being serious. Usually they're trolling. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I must, uh, I must, uh, I'm not saying you're lying, but you probably are. Well, I hope you're lying anyways. Hold on. I hope you're, I hope you're lying. But I, I, you know, and then now I get a, now I'm going to get all the trolls who are going to say, "Oh, hey, guess who just died?" Blah blah blah. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, I am, I'm going to have to check it up myself. I'm I'm pretty sure everybody's looking along with me. I hope it's not true. I don't see anything. Yeah, it was just a troll. Yeah, just a troll, unless it just happened. Yeah, just a troll. Yeah, just a troll. He got me pretty good with that one, because he wasn't a very famous person. So he did get me. And, I, and I'm pretty sure now you guys can be like, hey, did you know Hulk Hogan died and all that or whatever? So I don't know. Uh, yes, thank you very much for shouting that out, Peak, uh, Lady Luck. Don't forget to write my name down in uh, all bathrooms all across the country. That's how you share my channel. And, you know, it's funny, but it's true. Uh, Brandon Crouch, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate the support for the $5. Uh, we'd love you to come to the UK. Love your vids. Claire Squires with the, with the pound $5. Uh, one day I will go to England, uh, but for me to go out there, I'd have to have somebody that I can crash with on their, in their apartment or their flats or whatever. So, 
yeah, hopefully we'll, one day it'll happen. We will see. Uh, when I die, can you visit me? Sure. Sure, I'll come visit you. Um, but uh, hopefully that won't be for a very, 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 very long time. So, uh, let's see. Uh, Angela C. with the $10. Thank you very much. All right, let's turn the camera around and get away from my ugly face. Because nobody wants to see that. I'm probably going to get ready to head out of here in a minute. Uh, I will leave that penny right where it lies. Uh, somebody... Uh, Somebody just said if I um, if I will uh, visit New Orleans cemeteries. Yes, I am. I am slowly, slowly on my way back to New Orleans uh, before I get to Texas. So if anybody has an idea for a, a vlog in New Orleans, yeah, let me know. Anything in Mississippi, let me know. I'll tell you guys right now. I will be heading on the forty, going towards Memphis. I know a lot of you guys are going to email me the Memphis three. I cannot say unequivocally if I'm going to do that vlog or not. Um, we'll see. We will see. But uh, yeah, um, Memphis, if you guys are going to email me about the Leicester Street murders, I already know about that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, if people are going to ask me if I'm going to do Elvis Presley's grave, uh, the answer is no. I just have no interest in going. That's been overdone. That is a perfect example of something that's been overdone on YouTube, but I don't want to do it. Um, if somebody's going to ask me about the Yazoo City Witch out of Mississippi, I might be doing that. Uh, if anybody's going to tell me about Steve McNair getting shot and killed in Nashville, I might be doing that. Steve McNair is buried in Mississippi. The girl that he that killed him, she's buried in Jacksonville. I don't know if I want to connect all three together. If I do, it's going to be quite some time before I do that video. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, Cindy's fire. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Teresa Gay Ganey from Georgia. Georgia. Uh, Jen Nelson with the $10. What is up? Uh, Suburban Mom says, come back to Houston. I will be back in Houston probably in about two weeks. My goal was to be there by April 1st. It ain't going to happen. Probably by April 15th. First video that I want to vlog when I get to Houston. Maybe if I can get a hold of that newspaper reporter that interviewed me. Do the Dean Coral story. Scumbag. Dean Coral, the scumbag. That newspaper reporter uh, would uh, do an excellent job because he did a lot of work, investigative work on that story. Uh, if I can get a hold of that newspaper reporter too, we'll do a couple of videos together. He's a nice guy. I got to get a hold of him. Just in case, if you are that newspaper reporter from Baytown, uh, h h give me a call on my cell phone. Uh, you got the number. In case you don't, it's 972-765-8972. Hit me up. I want to touch base with you. Uh, you can do a story on zombie hunter victims, Angela Brazo and Melanie Burness. Uh, if I can remember to write that down. Uh, Susan Smith, thank you very much. You're too kind. Thank you. Uh, the most extraordinary thing that happened to me at a cemetery? Nothing. Uh, well, I was hearing voices at the one cemetery in Terrell. Uh, by the way, I will be in Terrell. Um, I have to do that, uh, that one story. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but uh, it's a really good story. Uh, uh, the King, the KB King 21, uh, come to Sacramento one day. Thank you for your entertaining vids. Yeah, I have to go there because I have to do my, uh, my Golden State Killer video or the original Night Stalker, depending on what. So that video, it, that video is going to go all the way from where he started as uh, his law enforcement career as a cop. I, I, I think he was in early March or it was somewhere around the Fresno area, somewhere like in, 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 in nowheresville california and then go all the way to like the killers like yeah it's, that's going to be a very encompassing story i look forward to doing it we'll see what happens uh bud brutus 2499 
What is going on? How are we doing? Thank you for the love and support. Uh, you look like Chucky the Doll from uh, Child's Play. You don't want to go drama, trust me? Oh, uh, I think I do. I don't know. I, I think I do. I think I want all the drama, kids. Listen, l l let's just, I can start it right now if I want. I can make a video saying like, oh my God, I can't believe she said this. I'll, I, let me do something, guys. Let me tell you something. I will be the rich lux of true crime drama. I just created it, guys. I just created it right now. Okay? That, it, it, and you know what? When, when I start, when I start my true crime drama career, we'll get some other clowns who copy me as well. Because that's what they like to do on the internet. They see that I'm doing something and then they do it too. Monkey see, monkey do. But uh, imitation is sincere, sincerely the um, sincerest form of flattery, nonetheless. Cannot be mad at you, boss man playa. Playa, playa, Himalaya. But uh, true crime drama. Maybe I should just change the uh, interview channel to True Crime Drama. You know what? I don't know, guys. I think I might do it. I don't know. I think I might do it. True Crime Drama. What, is that the name of the channel? True Crime Drama? See, but how do I start drama with true crime? Can't do it on this channel. I will be the... First of all, I got to get Rich Lux. I got to do a collab with Rich Lux. <laughs> that guy is pretty... If, if nobody knows who Rich Lux is... That guy is funny. I, I will give it to him. I'm not into him, the drama, but if he does like a, a review, like if he did like a fast food review, I'll definitely watch the video because he's hilarious. Uh, Rich Lux. And uh, I, I, think, uh, I think he hit me up before. I think I did a video about him on my other channel and he hit me up before. Uh, he, didn't, like, he just commented on the video. So I know that guy scours. I know that guy scours social media for people mentioning him. So true crime drama with Lamont. Uh, I guess I got to start doing makeup. I don't know how to do makeup, but I can learn. I'm not a makeup artist, but I can learn. I can learn. I'm gonna. I'm, just, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it, guys. You think? You think I'm BSing, guys? I'm gonna do it. Here's the question: Are you guys gonna subscribe to my true crime drama channel? And then I gotta talk about all the other true crime people. I gotta get a list of all anybody on YouTube who does true crime. I gotta do it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, no, I'm gonna start beef with. Uh, I'm gonna start beef with. Uh, let, let me see. I, I let me see. Let me let me. Like I don't know their names. Let's let me let me pull it up really quick. Let's talk about who I'm gonna be starting problems with, because I already have a problem with these people. Okay, let's. I'm trying to do two things at one time, so bear with me, folks. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We'll put... Hmm. Okay, so... Wow, Bailey Sarian, she's number one on my hit list. Bailey, Bailey, come out to play. Lamont wants to talk to you or about you. I'm going to start a problem with her. What's my problem? Oh, I don't know. I'll just make something up about her. Something, a little bit of slander has never hurt anybody, right? That's my first video. Uh, I'm going to be doing an expose about her. And I'm not going to tell you guys what true lie I'm going to make up about her, but from what I heard, and I don't, I don't go into my sources. I don't like to name my sources, uh, but let me say this, um, from what I heard from a friend, from a friend, from a third cousin removed from a friend that she doesn't use the makeup that she claims that she uses. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag Dollar Tree store makeup. Need I say more? Okay, let's talk about Kendall Ray. Kendall Ray. I'll make up something about her too. Uh, let's see. Well, who else? 
Um, who else is on here? Who's Bailey May? Well, I don't like her now, so. Um, who else can die? Eleanor Neal. Oh, I definitely don't like her. Never met her, but I don't like her. We're going to, we're going to, yeah. Oh, Christina Randall. Yeah, we're going to be exposing her. We're going to be exposing her. Danelle Holland. Yes, yes, yes. Miss Holland, from what I've heard, well, I won't mention it now. I will mention it on that true crime drama. <sighs> Loie Lane, who are you? Well, don't worry. I'll have my minions dig up a little bit of dirt about your past. Let's talk about it, shall we? Who else is in here? Uh, I think that's about it. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just kind of like looking through makeup channels or true crime and makeup. So I named about five people. So I think that's enough. I think that's enough. I'll start with the five and then I will continue to go down. I will continue to go down and I will, I will continue to accuse people and make up slanderous lies and I will build up uh, my true crime drama empire channel off of nothing but that mountain of lies. I will do it. I will do it guys. I will do it. Uh, when am I coming to the 815? I don't know what the 815 is. Uh, Brian Hefferman. Uh, sh what a shameless plug on my channel. How dare you? How dare you come back on my channel with your shameless Camel Dave plug? Well, if anybody wants to go uh, go to uh, Camel Dave's channel, he's going to be live at 7 p.m. in Manassas. Uh, tell Camo I said what's up. I see Camel Dave uh, mentioning Unstoppable Morgan. Oh, by the way, she doesn't do true crime, but I'll be digging up some dirt about her as well. You know what? Maybe the dirt from true crime, maybe can you just go to like other YouTubers? Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, Mr. Hefferman, tell Camel Dave I'm starting a drama channel. I'm going to show him how to do it. See, the, Camel Dave doesn't know how to do the drama. He's just, he's just not into it. He's not hip with it. You know what I mean? He's out of the game. You know what I mean? He's, he's doing 1980s beat neck reporting style. Uh, 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 uh. I'll show him how it's done. Show how it's done. Uh, Leanne Barber from Canada. What is going on? Uh, Vicky Divot. Uh, come to Sacramento and do the Dorothea Puente murders. Um, I will write that down. Uh, hashtag moderator, please write that down for me. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will look into that. Uh, somebody said that they'll buy my merch. True Crime Drama will have my merch. We'll have merch. True Crime Drama, not this channel. Uh, Judy Martinez, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Sinner's Fire. Oh, that's very nice. So you clean graves. Oh, look, get a hold of me. Keep in touch with me. I don't know when I get out yonder that's awesome that you do that though not a lot not enough people do that i actually try to do that myself very time consuming very time consuming it's cleaning the graves like I'll, I'll like glue some stuff together that's about it it's very time consuming guys very very time consuming to say the least uh christian brando's grave in washington state uh i thought they were buried in a on an island so Christian Brando, eh, I mean, I don't know if I'd be p terribly interested in that grave, but if I would go to that cemetery and do a regular vlog around him, yeah, that'd be fine. I would do that for sure. Uh, Jana Dubner, Dubner says, did you, did you say you would come to Dayton, Ohio in the summer? Can we meet up for coffee? Question mark. Yeah, just, uh, here's, here's how we do it guys. Um, I always got to be careful about who I meet because, uh, you know, let, let's, let's, let's be honest. I do a lot of videos that a lot of people don't like, and a lot of people want to do me harm and that's fine. I'm, I'm ready for any and all, uh, newcomers to step into the ring, so to speak. Um, 
I mean, I'm willing to meet up with people. I meet up with people, I wouldn't say often, but I do. Um, the only way that would happen is you, you, you would have to kind of keep a whole, you would have to like know where I'm at on Instagram. YouTube is not going to let you know where I'm at because you know, my, my, my next seven videos, I'm going to have videos for the next two weeks in Florida. I'm not, I'm not going to be anywhere near Florida. So the best way to get a hold of me is uh, follow me on Instagram. And when I post on Instagram that I, I literally am there at that moment. And then you can just be like, Hey, if you see me posting in Indiana, then you know that I'm on my way to Ohio and I will be going to Dayton because I got about three stories out of Dayton. Three really good ones. Three really good vlogs. One guy sent me two uh, really, really excellent uh, stories. Hopefully I wrote those down because it was one of the stories is disgustingly tragic. Uh, that is a term that I coined myself. You're more than welcome to use it, but just let it known, let it be known that I am the creator of disgustingly tragic. That is going to be my makeup line that I'm going to push with my true crime drama. Just letting you guys know. Disgustingly tragic, my lipstick. Uh, how do I make lipstick? What do I do? Disgustingly tragic. I better go ahead and copyright that before one of my trolls does it. <sighs> Anyways. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, someone asked if I have a P.O. box. You know what? I should have one. I don't have one, though. Uh, I, I'm going to get one. I'm, I'm going to get one. What is this? Oh, crap. Uh, I better not see anything weird in here. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Huh. I don't know what it is, but anyways. Uh, St. Augustine, Florida, I should do cemeteries. Uh, I kind of already left that area. Uh, Trisha Gardner from uh, England. Ms. Gardner, she will be the first one to buy my disgustingly tragic uh, lipstick line. And uh, my, my, uh, don't forget about my naked eyeshadow palette. Yep, that guys, I'm telling you what right now. That's this is that is how I'm gonna make a million dollars is off of makeup. It's cringy, but I'll just that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna just bite off of Bailey Sarian. You guys think it's possibly funny that I'm gonna be doing that? But uh, no, desperate times call for desperate measures, and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my own makeup as I'm doing the crime, crime stuff. So, oh well, true crime drama. Hashtag, true crime drama. Uh, Marcus Dillon, yeah, I will be redoing that video, um, but they're, they're not the reason why I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it because I forgot what happened. That wasn't it, though. I, actually, it might have been. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it set me off. Maybe I got triggered. I don't know. I, but I will be finishing that. We will see what happens. Uh, Dana Kilgore with the uh, Super Chat, $5. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a threat of uh, dinner for me. I like threats. Uh, another another threat from Michigan. Okay, we got some threats of uh, of dinner and dinners and people's homes. I don't know. Uh, Catherine Hall, five dollars. Uh, what is your favorite state of the union, and what state would you prefer to die in, Lamont? Texas and Texas. I love Texas. Texas is my favorite state by far. 
And uh, when, it is, when it is my time to go, uh, I would want to be in Texas. I love Texas. That is my home. And right now, I, I, not to be like one of those guys like, oh, you know, I'm sad. But uh, yeah, no, I want to go home. Even though when I get home, like, I'll be tired of it in about three days and want to leave. It's kind of how it works. Uh, Andrew Shaldak from Merrill WI. I must stand for Wisconsin. What's up? Uh, Kelly W. Yes. Sundays, was, I only stream on Sunday on Lamont at Large unless the only way I would stream on another day if, is if I happen to be somewhere where I think that the stream, like people would enjoy, like if I'm at a cool place, I'll do it, but I haven't done that in quite some time. The last time I did that, I believe I was with uh, Mobile Instinct when we were at that prison in Brushy Mountain. That was a really cool prison. Uh, Rachel with the twenty four ninety nine. Uh, Empathy, compassion, knows no bounds. What a great human! Thanks for taking us along on your adventures. Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, I do have empathy and compassion. A lot of times I don't, though. However, I mean, a lot of times I'm just like, er, you know what I mean. But yeah, no. Thank you. I appreciate that. That those are very, very kind words to say the least. Very, very kind words. Thank you, uh, Rachel, and I appreciate the uh, super chat. Uh, Mama Bear 0613 in the building. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you for your respect for Ty, who have passed away, and those who still mourn. Ty? Are you Ty? Well, if you're inviting me over for dinner and you're Ty, if you're making Pad Thai or Tom Yum or Pacquiao, Patsy Pat, Yu, you best believe, you best believe I will be there, ma'am. Thank you. I love Thai food. Uh, Anthony Milanez with the five dollars. Thank you, Mr. Milanez. Appreciate the love and support, guys. As you can see right here, this is the newer part of the cemetery. Is they're like they're separating the uh, the sections and they're dividing them into where their future residents are going to be. Yes, Inez from Spain. What is up? What is up? Hi, I'm a ma'am, LOL. Oops, Frankie, what, oh, sorry. Uh, you worry about me being by yourself, people, Miss Carrie, I apologize. Uh, listen, I'm not saying you look like a man. Uh, I, I just, I, I should have known because you had that plunging neckline in your shirt. I just, you know, listen, the, the, uh, the, uh, our, our today's sexual revolution of guys turning into girls and girls turning into guys, uh, I didn't want to offend you. Uh, but I did see your plunging neckline, but I, I don't know. I, I was thinking maybe you were somebody that lives in Portland. Uh, I don't know. But thank you for the $10. I appreciate it. Miss Miss Carrie, Frankie is a woman's name. Frankie is also the name. Uh, well, I can't get into that story. Ah, I can't get into that story. Man, I had a really good interview lined up in Las Vegas with somebody. And uh, they just, I guess, you know what? I guess they just kind of changed their mind. And it, and it was really lame because I was talking to this person like like I was keeping contact with them for at least six months and um, it kind of went it uh, it went um, yeah they I, I hit them up when I was in Las Vegas I said hey are you still interested in the interview they're like yeah and I actually met this person in per I met this person in person and she never got back to me so I just said hey, either she got cold feet or or what have you but yeah that would have been a really interesting vlog to say the least so uh, yeah, but but the name Frankie was a, a, a friend of the person of the daughter who I was referring to that I was supposed to do the interview with. Uh, Michael Baxley with the two dollars. Thank you very much, Mr. Baxley. Uh, ha ha. Wants to know why the SRO video got deleted because there was a mistake in the video. It was corrected. It'll be out on Wednesday. Uh, Lady Els Elsbeth from the Netherlands, what is up? Uh, Alice Martinez wants me to film where that fat cop got shot. You know what? <laughs> uh, I I was thinking about doing it. Um, I don't believe I'll put it on Lamont at large, but I believe I will put it on somewhere else. Uh, I'll let you guess where that somewhere else is. Yeah, I, I'll be stopping in Nashville for a few days. Yeah, uh, if, if, in case you guys are, in case you guys don't know what we're talking about, uh, that video online, it's been all over, it's got like three or four million views. Uh, it's a, the cop, he was really, really overweight. 
And uh, the black lady, I don't know what the hell she was tripping on. I don't know if she was on drugs. She had absolutely no reason to do what she did. It was crazy. This black co lady shoots the, the, the cop and the cop is falling and shoots her. She ends up getting killed. And then the mother's getting interviewed and she said, you know, listen, when, when, when somebody's child does something stupid, that, such as what she did, a lot of times the woman's going to say, like, oh, my baby's never been in trouble. Oh, my baby's done this. Oh, my baby's done that. Well, yeah, of course, a, a, a child is going to be your baby regardless of the horrific, the horrific things or the bad things, the stupid things, the dumb things, the idiotic, moronic, buffoonish things that they do. Uh, our parent, our, our mother and father is always going to love us mostly regardless of our own uh, failures in life. So, of course, she's, you know, she just said, I don't know. Like, like, she, like the mother just like, she, I guess she just didn't know. Uh, but anyways, we're talking about this because this cop was very overweight. And I didn't necessarily make fun of him because I'm overweight too, but I'm not a cop. And I don't weigh 400 pounds. And, I, you know, the thing is this, at the end of the day, not to chastise him, but I will say this, and I, I and guys, listen, I call it the way I see it. If you don't like it, I understand. I, I'm going to say some things sometimes during my lives that you may not agree or you know, disagree with or whatever, blah, blah, blah. However, um, I hope that's a wake-up call for that cop to see himself on the ground not being able to move because he's so fat. You know, I know, I know, I know saying the, the, the F word saying, you know, somebody's fat. That's like a, a lot of, a lot of people are trying to like, like say, oh, okay, well, it's an evil word. No, it's, you're, you're fat. I mean, I'm fat too. I, I readily admit I'm fat. I got a weight problem. You know, I, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, I, I'm going to tell you a quick story about how fat I am, but uh, well, let's talk about this cop really quickly. Uh, I hope, cause I was, I, I don't know if I was as big as him, but I wasn't that much smaller than him. I actually want to say I was the same size as him at one point. I hope that cop, cause that cop is still young. I don't even think he's 40 years old. That cop could easily turn it around. He could get, um, lap band surgery if he feels, if he feels he needs to go that direction. I hope that cop sees himself on video and, you know, listen, the internet is full of trolls and mean people. People are, you know, a lot of people are really nice, but they'll say mean things. Uh, that's, I'm kind of sort of one of them. You know, I'll say, I won't say like horribly mean things, but I will say this. I hope that guy watches that video, sees himself on the ground being so overweight that he can't move. And she could have easily finished him off simply for the fact of him being that big. He couldn't move to get out of the way. I hope, I hope that cop sees that video and says you know what i gotta make a change i really hope I, i'm pulling for that guy because man i used to be fat and i know i know the feeling it sucks it, it really does suck i mean i could joke about it and laugh about it because i was in this position it sucks because you don't see how fat you are it's really weird when you're overweight when you're like really overweight you don't really have a reference point of how big you are until you get away from that weight and then you realize like i look back at the pictures that i have i'm like oh my god i think i actually was the size of that cop i was almost 350 pounds before and i still struggle with my weight don't get me wrong it's a lifelong struggle and i'll probably struggle with you know every day until i die you know what i mean and i so I, i'm really up uh rooting for that cop but i i, I, and I will also say this as well uh, you, you shouldn't be allowed to be a police officer that size because it, it, it's a detriment to your safety and the public safety at large. You know what I mean? You can't be that big. And and then, like, what if you, what if you got to chase somebody? You got to be able to run. You got to be able to catch somebody. You got to be able to defend yourself. You can't. No, no. I, I hope a light is, is being shown. You know, uh, there should be like a physical fitness test uh, for all police officers. There, there should be. We don't want a bunch of 50-year-old patrol officers. No, you don't see them. You see young guys. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, young women, too, I, I, you know, I guess. But I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, guys. Whatever. I don't know. I'm mean. I'm mean. I'm cruel. I, but, uh, you know, listen, I, I hope he loses the weight. I really do. I don't want that guy to... You know, I don't know him, but I don't want him to have a heart attack. I, you know, he, I, I know damn well he probably has high blood pressure. You know, it's like, you got to lose weight, man. You know, you... you you got to look at yourself. You got millions of people looking at you rolling around on the ground, not being able to do anything, not even being able to push yourself up to get out of the way because you don't know if she could be coming back with a, with a, with a rifle. You know what I mean? You want to be able to be healthy. You want to see, I don't know if he has kids or a wife, but 
You know, a guy that big, you're not going to be 50, man. You got to do something about it now while you're still relatively young. And I got to do something about it myself. I was talking about how, how I was really fat. Let me tell you, let me tell you this really quickly. Let me tell you this really quickly. This is honestly God truth. Uh, I'm in Indiana. When was I in Indiana? I was in Indiana. I want to say it was the summertime around June or July. I believe I had just, I, I put up the uh, Brianna Taylor apartment video. I just did a quick video. My trailer like took a dive, something happened on it. I had to go get it fixed. The original people that, that fixed it didn't do a good job. I had to, had to be re, redone. So I'm in Evansville, Indiana. I'm, I'm going to McDonald's. I got a half a bottle of vodka. I'm about to, about to get lit tonight. You know what I mean? It's uh, one for you and two for me. You know what I'm saying? Freight train, baby. Freight train. And I, I went to the drive-thru at McDonald's. Hey, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Hey, can I get a large, uh, I believe a Sprite? Uh, then I'll dump some of the Sprite out and I'll just mix it with the vodka, what have you. And she goes, all right, dollar, whatever, at the window. I get to the window, and I, I, get the, I get the Sprite, and I left. And then I went to go, I went to the, to, uh, and then it was, it was in a Walmart parking lot, right? So I'm over there, and all of a sudden I said, you know what? I said, I want, some, I want a small French fries. I want a small French fries. I go back to the McDonald's. And I tell the lady, hey, uh, let me get a small french fry. She goes, all right, blah, blah, blah. When I go to the window, she goes, aren't you Lamont at large? And I said, yeah, what's up? And she goes, uh, she goes, oh, my gosh. She goes, I know your channel. She goes, my boyfriend really loves your other channel. I uh, won't mention that name. And she goes, uh, can, uh, can I take a picture with you, please? I said, yeah, sure. So I, so I parked. How about the van? We take a picture together. And I still have this picture because she texted it to me. And she takes me a picture. I'm looking at this picture. I could not believe how huge I was. And that was at the time I was 260 something, which right now I'm not that big. I'm about 20 pounds less, but I'm still really big. If you, if you look at me, if you meet me in, in person in real life, I don't have a big frame. I'm not a big person at all. I know my voice might seem like I'm like, Roar! you know, like I live under a bridge or what have you, but no, I'm not a big guy at all. I carry all of my weight in my midsection. I'm actually supposed to be 180 pounds, not 200 and anything. You know, I don't got a big frame. I got, I got dinky arms, dinky legs, just like a big gut, you know what I mean? Because that's where I carry all my weight. So, they, you know, it's a, it's a wake-up call, man. That picture, I was like, man, I can't be doing that, man. I, you know, I'm going around drinking vodka like crazy. Well, no, actually, I take that back. I don't drink vodka like crazy, but I do drink quite a bit when I'm, when I'm drinking. But anyways, guys, sorry about that. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I just kind of went on a tangent about uh, overweight. But, uh, yeah, no, I, anyway, just to uh, end that... And that, uh, my, that little tangent, I hope, I hope that guy, I hope that guy gets it together. I hope that cop loses the weight. I don't want to see that cop, you know, it was, you know, listen, it was kind of funny, like him, like rolling around on the ground, but after you laugh for about three seconds, you're like, man, that's not cool. I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that guy get shot and killed by that crazy broad. I don't want to see that guy getting hurt, you know, and it just, you know, I probably will go do that video, but I probably won't put it on this channel. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I, I just didn't, uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to see that because uh, like, I know people are making fun of him and then I'm probably piling on. But at the same time, like, I mean, I, I don't want to say like I, 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 I hurt for him, but I, I, I do, I did recognize like, man, I, I know what it feels like to be that size. It sucks. Uh, big time it does. So I don't know. Anyways, I'm trying to go through the comments, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, $10 from Laura Fanter. What is going on? Laura Fanter with the knockout. Oh, you do with the hippo. Oh, I see. Because we we're talking about fattening with the hippo. Oh, okay. Are you fat shaming me, Miss Fanter? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you very much. Someone said I had a nice voice. Thank you. I hate my voice sometimes, but uh, thank you very much nonetheless. Uh, former politician, LOL. That's uh, that's funny. What about the Utah and Rebecca David tragedy? I don't know that story. If you emailed me, I will uh, look it up later. Uh, uh, Tanya Michelle, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. 
Uh, Rochelle Chase from Barbados. What is going on? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, the murder of Dino Bravo. Um, yeah, I, I think there was a weird story about that guy. I read that a long time ago. Yeah, I probably would look into that doing that vlog if I were in uh, Canada. I think he was French Canadian guy. Dino Bravo was a big guy. I don't think he was tall. That guy was just big. Dino Bravo. I remember that guy. I used to watch wrestling when I was a kid. That guy was a big dude. That guy was like, man, I'd love to know how much he benched this. I bet you that guy could bench press 600 pounds. That guy was a monster. That guy was a beast. Uh, Joe Jacob wants to know if I've ever done a video in Minnesota. When the last time I was in Minnesota, I did not have Lamont at large. And no, I didn't do any videos. Um, I have never done any videos for Lamont at large in Minnesota. Um, I don't know of a story in Minnesota that I would want to do. I can't think of anything. Off the top of my head anyways. Other than I, I know a lot of people would want me to go to Paisley Park to do a vlog about the uh, where the uh, ashes of Prince are kept. Uh, whatever I would, if, if I were to go to Minnesota, which I could if I wanted to, I mean, I can go there right now if I felt like it. Uh, but I, I, there's no story that I can think of out of Minnesota that I have to go, that I have to go do. And I know, I know, I know what some of you guys are already thinking about Minnesota, and the answer is no. I won't be doing that story. But uh, if anybody has any Minnesota ideas, hit me up. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to read more about stuff that I don't look up in Minnesota. One of my favorite authors bases all his books, uh, John Sanford, The Prey Novels. I used to read those like crazy, but I don't anymore. So. Uh, gas is very expensive in England. I'm lucky that I don't live there. I don't know if I could have my channel in England. I mean, I'm sure I could, but I guess I'm in the perfect country, unfortunately, because uh, we love to murder out here. Love to murder. Uh, Patty S with a dollar forty nine. Patty S, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, you would enjoy Glenwood Cemetery in Houston. Uh, I don't know what's over there, but uh, I don't know who's buried over there. Yes, it's very nice. Uh, it's a very nice day out here right now. It's enough of my face. Uh, hello from St. Louis, Cheryl Vallandingham. Vallandingham? Did I get it right? Yes. Yeah, I'm super behind on the comments, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize. Uh, Laura Fanter again with the $10. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Monica, yes. I, I, I did make it from the bottom of YouTube, and now I'm here. Yeah, it feels good to not be a part of that crowd anymore, I tell you. Uh, alpha dog murder will be great. Uh, can somebody write that down for me? Alpha dog murder. Alpha dog murder. I will def definitely check that out. Thank you. I know they made a movie about that with the uh, with the with the back street, uh, not the back street, the instinct guy. Uh, that is, if I ever do go to Puerto Rico, I, I don't know what I would do going to Puerto Rico. I don't know anybody over there. Not saying that I have a problem with going over there, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Renee Price from Cleveland. Uh, what is going on? Uh, Rick James is waiting for you to come to Buffalo, New York. We'll be definitely doing that video uh, for sure. Oh, Miss Winter, thank you. You're too kind. Uh, thank you, Giovanna Gregory. Thank you. Uh, Lori Kinnison with the 1999. Are you related to Rob or Sam Kinnison? Raging Rob. Here's to 200K. Thank you very much, Miss Kennison. Oh, somebody says they want me to go do Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, well, okay, let's go do it right now. I never did. Uh, I think Bonnie was like one of the very first graves I did on my channel. It's, 
I think I did it. I don't know. Yeah, but everybody's done that. Sticks fan, what's up, bro? Yeah, long time to see you. Uh, one rough reekin. That is one rough reekin right there. That, that Puerto Rican guy, one rough reekin. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I, I got the S10 plus. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't decide between the S21 and, and the uh, and the 10, so I just got the 10. But I'll probably, I'll probably upgrade uh, later at the end of the year. I'll probably end up just getting the S21 and just joining the the cult, the proverbial cult, if you will. Uh, Avril loves you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the uh, the uh, 200k uh, subscriber. Uh, congrats. I appreciate that. Uh, Amy Walker, how's it going? That's going good. It's walking around, uh, talking to you guys. Hey, you guys are asking me questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, someone wants to know where will I lie one day? Uh, in my trailer at the end of the night. So that will be tonight. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, something Mecca Station Station Tarot 53. Appreciate that. Uh, someone said Washington. Yeah, I will be up in Washington one day. I will be up there one day. Uh, someone wants to know if I believe in ghosts. Uh, yes, I have not ever seen one, however. And uh, don't want to start like getting into the ghost thing on my channel. But I, I'm not going to lie again, guys. I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There is a ghost video that I am going to do. And I have to do it just because the story is so weird that I have to do it. I know it's going to be a little bit cringy. And you, you guys, some of you guys are going to roll your eyes and be like, oh, here we go. Lamont is, is turning into a ghost channel. Great. Wow. Why am I not surprised? Uh, but hold on. I'm not doing that. But this, I know there are two ghost stories I want to do. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. It won't be like a cringy way. I don't do cringe videos. I, I don't have a spirit box. Uh, oh, what is that? Hey, did you guys hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, no, my spirit box. Did you hear that? Shh, 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 shh. The spirit box. What did you say? What? Where are you? What? You're where? What? No, no. You you have a you have a scanner. You have a radio that is automatically going from one channel to another really fast, and then you're making out words to have them say what you want them to say. No, no, no. I heard something. I heard something. What? Wait. Hey, James, where are you? I, I, I can't stand those channels. I can't stand those damn channels. They make me sick. What, Mary? What? Mary, where are you? No, 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 no. No, I will not do that. I will not do that, guys. I will not do that. Hey, I'm not going to lie. This... Uh, the the picture on the phone looks pretty good, guys, right? Yeah. It kind of has that, like, fish eye kind of weird look to it. Huh. I don't know. Uh, April Diaz with the $50. Bang, boom, pow. Thank you very much, Miss Diaz. Uh, oh, and uh, Ms. Diaz will be my first uh, lipstick model on my disgustingly... Wait, wait, what was my lipstick line again? Uh, disgustingly tragic. I'll, I'm going to sign you to the contract. The contract is in the mail, baby. Thank you very much, Ms. Diaz, though. Seriously, I appreciate that. Thank you. Disgustingly tragic. Blueberry, blueberry blue and raspberry red. All that good stuff. True crime drama. Uh, Dana Kilgore from Philly. What's going on? How are we doing? Thank you very much. For the love and support from Philadelphia, I will be going back there soon. I have to redo a video that I messed up that I accidentally, I accidentally uh, deleted. So, uh, we've been doing Krama and the Boit for a year. Yeah, you guys don't, you guys don't know how to do it correctly. That's why you're in the Boit because you're stuck there in Boit purgatory because nobody likes you guys. I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you how it's done. 
Uh, conservative Cuban is in the building. Uh, muchacho. Do you guys say that in Spanish? Or is that the, it's just like a Latino thing or a Mexican thing? Anyways, I uh, mentioned you on the Delray Misfits podcast. Thank you very much. Conservative Cuban. What's going on, my friend? How are we doing? I was, uh, I was in the Miami area and I left. The place I want no part of. Uh, the spring break is going nuts over there. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard this story. I don't know if you guys heard this story, but uh, spring break in Miami, they were doing a, I don't, I don't know if they used the term state of emergency. However, because of everybody from uh, everywhere else flying down to Miami, because they were offering $50 round trip tickets to Miami. So Miami Beach got, it just went totally hood. Uh, if you go on YouTube, you can look at videos of people fighting, like people twerking just acting a fool and then they started like doing curfews like eight o'clock curfews all because of fifty dollar uh round trip tickets it's amazing i don't know yeah i don't you know it, I, you know, no, no, no BS uh, to start a true crime channel like where I talk. I just I don't think I can do that. I don't think I have the time for that. Unless there's drama. Uh, Melissa Love, you are the only one that thinks I'm sexy, but thank you. I appreciate that. You're the only one here. Nobody else. Just you. You are the, a part of the only that only cool kids club. Uh, Miss Hussein again. Wow. Well, you're breaking the bank. Uh, you, you just, well, you, you sent me three 10, 10 pound donations. Wow, that's enough for two gallons of petrol where you're at. But thank you very much. Now, listen, I'm uh, uh, Miss Hussein, please. Uh, Lamont at large at gmail.com. I'm, I'm not kidding. I would love for you to please. I just, okay, just one bathroom. That's all I ask. I'm sure you have lovely handwriting as you look lovely. So I'm, I'm sure your handwriting is also lovely as well. If you could email that to me, I would, I would, I would literally, well, I wouldn't li literally die, but I would love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you very much. Lamont at large at gmail.com. Subject pick. Subject bathroom pick. And uh, let's keep it respectful. I mean, you don't have to, but. Oh, guys, yes. I, I see a little bit of drama happening in my chat. Yeah, well, maybe I can expose some of these people. Yes. Uh, Rob Gavigan. Oh, Rob Dyke. Oh, Rob Dyke. Yeah, he'll be the first guy that I go in on. Yeah. Did you know that Rob Dyke doesn't do his own videos? He doesn't edit his own videos. Neither do I. On this edition of True Crime Drama, we're going to talk about Rob Gavigan. Formerly known as Rob Dyke. The name says it all, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't edit his own videos. I wonder whatever happens to that guy. He actually stopped uploading. He doesn't upload anymore. I guess he got burnt out. I have no idea. Well, I'll take over for him. Uh, Tammy Prince Lover, what is going on, baby? How are we doing? I, uh, I've already opened up one of your bags of cat food. Uh, I fed the cat uh, over by the dry cleaners uh, next to the Chinese food dumpster. Hopefully he made it out through the morning. Hashtag you never know. Oh no, I'm I'm actually not better than that. No, I'm I'm actually very low brow. I I can be very low brow. No, it's a lot of people think I'm better than that. I'm actually not. I'm actually not. So, no shame in my game, guys. I mean, I came from the bottom and I've actually stayed here. Just letting you know. You want me to do a video on the Bever Brothers? Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, yes, uh, Ace Man RC. Uh, very weird people about 
uh, everywhere, uh, especially when they race RC cars. You got to be really careful about those guys. By the way, RC cars, I almost bought one. I had this great idea because I got this GoPro that I never use, that I need to learn how to use. I thought it would be really funny to put a GoPro on an RC car and just go to different cities and just drive it around. Am I crazy or am I immature? Which one is it? How come nobody does that? Uh, I am looking to buy a drone, perhaps a drone. Why am I going to buy a drone? I don't know, because I'm immature. I'm not saying that people that fly drones are immature, but uh, let, let, I mean, let's just call it what it is. A grown man flying a drone, uh, you're either a pervert or you're immature. I mean, that's really all there is to it. That's not, and I'm not saying, you know, being a pervert is a bad thing. Unless your wife likes you doing that, then that's okay. But yeah, if, if you're a grown man and you have a drone, I mean, unless you have a YouTube channel, then I can understand. But if, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you're not a photographer and you just have a drone, yeah, you're either you're perverted or you're immature. And I'm immature. I'm not a pervert, but I am immature. But then again, I could be a pervert. I guess it depends on, depends on you. I mean, I could easily be lying. However, I, I am looking to, for, to get a drone because there's a video, there's a video that I want to do out here that I need a drone to go do. And um, however, however, uh, somebody tells me that I that if I did a, if I did this video via drone that I would be, I would it would be uh, what what was the word, Kale that you used. Like it would be too, like I would be invading their privacy or something. I don't know. Uh, Natchez City Cemetery in Mississippi looks very interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, I might go there uh, to, there's that, there's that grave with the window. I was, I was actually, here's something really stupid. I was there about a year and a half ago and I was doing a live stream. I didn't even know that grave was there. I didn't even know that grave was there until I left. And then I left about two hours later. Somebody was like, hey, did you know this grave was there? And they sent me the, the, a link to an article. And then uh, it was about this girl who died and the mother made the stairs with the, with the window. And I was like, dang, man. I was like, why didn't you tell me while I was there? He goes, oh, I didn't know. He goes, I just saw your, your rebroadcast and I just looked it up. So probably we'll be looking to do that video when I get back to Natchez. Yeah, no, actually, it wasn't a year ago. It was last year I did the video. Yeah, because I did the uh, the unsolved murder of uh, of Warlist jo Jackson, I think. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, love your video. Love your channel. Possibly while in Mississippi. What about visiting Tupelo and finding Elvis' twin brother Jesse Garone? That'd be interesting. Um. Hey, Cal, could you write that down for me? Elvis, Elvis's twin brother. I'll I'll look into that. See, Elvis, the, the Elvis's grave. That's not terribly interesting to me. However, something like that is very odd. I like odd. Like I wish people would email me more odd stuff like that. That's what it really like tickles my fancy, so to speak. Is that you know? Uh, Elvis Presley, Elvis Presley's grandson. Uh, eh, I'm not I'm not interested in Graceland. I'm just not. But the but the Elvis had a twin, right? He died at childbirth? I don't know. I have to look into that. Uh, my travels are going as far as, you know, far as, or, or they're doing, going well as far as well could be. Um, I, I, I finally left Florida. I was in Florida for a month. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that at all. Okay, Lim, Lim Lian Huey, Huey, H-U-I, Huey. I'm going to say your last name's Huey. Lim Lian Huey. Disgusting, tragic lipstick would buy. Yes. See, Lim Lian Huey knows a goodbye when they see one. She knows what's up. Disgustingly tragic and filthy gorgeous. <laughs> filthy gorgeous. I don't know. Uh, would I come to London and do the Jack the Ripper murders? Uh, of course I will. And hey, listen, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. If anybody that lives in England had a place for me to stay and it was verified, it was verified, I don't have a problem going over there. Uh, my passport is still good for another three years. I mean, my passport, I believe I have it in my van. Either that or I lost it. Hopefully I didn't lose it.
Oh yeah, guys, I'm super behind on the comments, sorry. Have I been to Connecticut? Yes. I don't know of any videos. Oh yeah, the only video I could think of is the uh, uh, Aaron Hernandez. I will do that vlog where his, mo where his dad is buried, uh, where he was in jail, where he took his own life. Uh, I, will, I will show where he supposedly killed those two guys. Uh, talk about his uh, interesting uh, sexual, uh, sexual deviancies that he did. I mean, is that mean to call it a sexual deviancy? I don't know. I guess it was. I don't know. Didn't he? Didn't he have sex with like a underage guy in high school? I don't know. Supposedly he did. I don't know. We we got to talk about the. Uh, we have to talk about the gay sex though. You know what I mean? Because last time I checked, gay sex sells, baby. It sells. Got to talk about that gay sex he was having. His brother admitted that he was gay. I love that Netflix. That was the best thing on Netflix I've ever seen in my life. And I don't ever watch anything on TV, but I watched, I binge watched that whole thing in one sitting. Yeah, didn't he have an underage lover? Or e either he was in high school and he was dating an underage kid or the kid, or he was underage too. I don't remember. Got a bad memory. Uh, mobster graves go to Chicago, New York. I did. I did some in uh, Chicago. Uh, I'll do some in New York for sure. Okay, so we we already have some uh, pre-orders for my for my naked palette. Yeah, it is to die for. No pun intended, right? Go review the cremated eyeshadow palette by Jeffrey Star Cosmetics. Is that is that what the true crime drama is about? Is that is that what it's come down to? Is that what I'm going to be doing, guys? Um, you know, I'm telling you, I, I, I think it would be hilariously, disgustingly rich. Oh, that, uh, no, that, no. Filthy, I got filthy, gorgeous, disgustingly tragic, and um, and uh, uh, oh, I got to, I got to come up with other ones too. Got to come up with other ones. Uh, Jimmy Hoffa, where is Jimmy Hoffa? I have no idea. I'm gonna go. Uh, he used to live in. I'm gonna go vlog his house, and then I'll, I'll probably vlog his house and where he was last seen. That was about it. I'll definitely do that video. That's an interesting story. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to uh, go through the chat as quick as I can. Uh, when am I coming to New York City? Uh, hopefully in the summertime. Uh, yummy Medic, long time no see. What is up with the 1999? Bang, boom, pow. What is up? How are we doing? Uh, Cecil Hotel is... Uh, I know, I know, guys. I, I'm, I'm miles behind the chat. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I apologize. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry. I know. I, I I don't even know how many minutes. I'm, I'm probably at least 30 minutes behind. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Natalie Velez, thank you very much from New York. Uh, is there is there flooding in Nashville? Uh, Life with Aaron posted a video of uh, I think his front yard. It was looked like it was flooded. It was raining a lot last night, a lot. Sorry, girls, I am trying to, uh, uh, the two girls who, who taste that in DC, yeah, stupid idiots. You got two dumb idiots going to jail. Well, you, you can't. I don't think you can try them as adults. I don't think you can try them as adults. Uh, SG does not stand for shotgun, guys. Just wanted to let you know with the $5. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you for thank you for defending me, Cal. Don't not, do not make fun of me, please. I cannot take it. I cannot take the heat. 
Wow, you guys are just commenting on the fat cop that I was talking about? Wow, you see how behind I am? Jeez Louise, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying. Uh, thank you, Melissa Love, I appreciate that. Uh, Tammy Prince Lover, no, I, you're just being nice. It's, it, was, I was, it was all bad. It was all bad. It was all bad. Uh, Alicia and Liz Washington, uh, yeah, it just... Uh, my emails in quite some time. I, I do want to answer some later tonight for sure. Uh, Marie Sunflower with the 999. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Marie Sunflower in the building. Welcome back. Hope everything is going good. Uh, cherry cola, good, good stuff. Uh, you waited till you were 21 to start drinking because I don't uh, condone underage drinking. And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, if you guys are like uh, coming up with ideas, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, man, I'm, I'm getting really bad with answering emails. So I would say just to just, to, I guess, keep emailing me. I, I, I need to get uh, going on that. Yeah, I know you want me to do prints. Uh, maybe I will just to, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do it as a request for you. I, I don't know. But uh, I mean, I know you love prints, but... I don't. I don't. The guy who shot himself in front of the school district? Um, I don't know that story. Uh, oh, 499 from Alicia and Liz Washington. Can you do the story about the guy who shot himself in front of the school district? I uh, are you talking about the guy that wrote the uh, that wrote the V on the wall? If you're talking about that guy, hey Kale, can you write that down? The, can you just write write down in your note? I, I I'm not saying that you work for me or anything like that, but if you have a pen handy on you, can you write down like just just put uh just put a red V, just put red V. I think she's talking about that guy. That would actually be a very interesting vlog. Unsolved Wrecker Sisters. Uh, never heard of that. Wrecker Sisters? Be easy on Unstoppable Morgan. What, what are you talking about? You act like I'm bullying her. What are you talking about? Uh, but then again, I never take it easy. Uh, Frank Conquest Jr. Is that your real name? That's actually a really cool name. Frank Conquest. That's not your real name, dude. That's like that's like a fake name. That's not a real. No, no, nobody's real last name is Conquest. Unless you're bragging about you know your exploits uh, from behind closed doors. Uh, have I found out anything with, new with the Bridgeman case? Uh, they already know who killed those two girls, and they, that's it. They they'll either they'll 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 either say that they know. Like I believe the police already know who killed them, but that's it. Uh, I, I think that case is over and done with. There's nothing more left to add. That case has been brought to the ringer. What I want to know is about that case is why did it take so long for that to, to get so much attention? Because I, I knew about that case when it first happened, like a week after it happened, and nobody was talking about it until like six months later. That was weird. Uh, Maserati Rick, is that the white guy that sold drugs? Maserati Rick. Uh, no, that'd be a good one if I could write that down. I, I hope that Kel's writing this stuff down because these like people are giving me some good stuff. I I, I mean, are you talking about the, the white guy that was the, the drug dealer? That'd be a good one. I don't know who uh, Demetrius Holloway is, though. Uh, Debbie Moeller. What's going on? Thank you very much. Uh, someone says, if I ever been to Beaumont, yes. Yes, I have. Uh, someone said to not spit on anybody's grave. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, I need my van running. Someone says, does Lamont read the chat? The answer is yes. Uh, Oscar with the $1.99 uh, from Los Angeles. Thank you very much, Oscar, with the $1.99. I appreciate it. Uh, by the way, Oscar, why are you blurring your face? Uh, are you wanted for a crime? 
That's odd. But anyways. Yeah, I'm really trying to get to the comments, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Big Red Miller from Chico. Chico, California is in the building. Uh, Rich, uh, Rich Tough and Rules. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Sometimes I don't like it, but sometimes I do. Uh, Angela Butcher DA Vlogs, what is up? How are we doing? Uh, will I ever be in Maryland or DC? Yep, I will be in Maryland or DC. Actually, that is kind of that is that, uh, what is wrong with me? Spit it out, dude. Maryland DC area that that is the, the first uh, major city on the East Coast that I will hit. So hopefully by June I will be out there. Hopefully. Uh, Kelly Myers with the five dollars. I will definitely keep it up, but I do have to work out. That is for sure. I appreciate that. Big JD versus Crazy Nick. Who are you referring to? Who's Big JD or who's Crazy Nick? I don't know. Isn't isn't Big JD the prison guy? Isn't isn't that the prison channel guy? Uh I, I think I know who that guy is personally. I never trust anybody who puts big in front of their name, but I'm sure he's a nice guy. Yeah, if, if your name is something and you put big in front of your name, I don't trust you. Don't know why, I just don't trust you. I'm sure you're a nice guy, yet I don't trust you. Why would you want to put big in front of your name? I don't understand. That's like putting, that's like calling myself Big Lamont. Like, oh, hey, I'm Big Lamont. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Why do you got to put big in front of your name? Are you are you referencing something that we don't want to know about? I have no idea. I am of average height. Just saying. Uh, Tail D with the four ninety nine. Thank you very much, Tail D. Appreciate that. Uh, John Holmes grave. Let me tell you something, sir. I wish he did have a grave. I would have definitely already gone to it, but he doesn't have one. I believe he was cremated. Uh, Connie Bryson with the 499. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes, guys, I am behind on the chat. I am slowly making my way upwards. Uh, Noel Hiron Ramos. Thank you very much with the five dollars again. Uh, hopefully, uh, you got your plate. Uh, I, I know I was supposed to mail some some people some license plates that I didn't want, and I I know they didn't get their plates because I still have some of them in the back of my van. I, I do need to clean it up. I do need to do a lot of cleaning. So. Uh, Ryan Fletcher Charlton. Uh, no, Ryan, Ryan, wait, Ryan? Wait, wait a minute. Is your name Rain or Ryan? Rain? Ryan? Mr. Charlton. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Uh, Yummy Medic again with the 1999. Yummy Medic, please, you do not have to, you do not have to send, uh, uh, those donations to me, but, uh, uh, thank you very much again, and uh, yeah, I will be your way probably, uh, I want to say sometime uh, in June or July. Just uh, just keep tabs with me. Keep tabs with me. Uh, Bronze Greyer wants to know if I'll ever do a video about Chicago gang killings. Yes, uh, uh, there is one in particular. Uh, I don't want to say who I'm going to do the vlog about, but you probably already know who I'm referencing is. He's like a little kid that was killed. Uh, be doing that vlog and um fbg duck that's like a two minute video but just kind of want to see where he was shot and killed and um i want to do the jakira barnes uh video so those are the three that i want to do when i get out to chicago i'm i may not do all three but when i come back to chicago when i head back out west um I'll, i won't do all of those but i'll do at least two of them Uh, without, without, uh, cheese, please. Without cheese. $10, $10 and 50 cents for one of those sandwiches. All you're getting is bread and a little bit of meat. It's, it's, it's rather, it's rather sad. Uh, Nicholas Sanders. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, uh, yummy medic. I, I have not been answering my phone or answering my text in quite some time. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just kind of in a, I'm in a place in my, right now in my mind where I'm just kind of like, yeah, I know I'm going to get out of it guys. It's not a depression. I just haven't been, I haven't been like wanting to communicate with people, but I, I'm, I'm getting out of it. 
I am getting out of it. Wow, this, I don't know, I don't know if on your end if the video looks good, but on my screen, the video looks great. I like this. I like this new phone. It's worth it. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Uh, carry 7,009. Why? With 499. Have you looked into Iowa murders? Yeah, I was actually just talking about that with my friend about doing a video in Iowa. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be going through Iowa. However, we'll see quite possibly maybe next month. I don't know. I highly doubt it. I don't think I'll be going anywhere too far outside of Texas for at least the next month or two. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico death from the prison riots. Eh, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. Do I ever get lonely? I'll let you answer that kid. Come on. AVR 1961 with the $50 spot. Bang, boom, pow. Thank you very much. AVR 1961. I never get lonely. Hashtag I'm lonely. Thank you very much. AVR. I appreciate that. Uh, St. Louis, the exorcist that happened in St. Louis with that one kid at SLU. Never heard of that story. Exorcist at St. Louis. That might be an interesting vlog video idea. Uh, Steve Hall, imagine if Aaron Hernandez just came out, he would have been a hero. You know what? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, not in my eyes, because uh, there's nothing heroic about telling people that you like to have sex with the same sex. I don't personally care what you like to do behind closed doors. I think everything that people do behind closed doors should stay behind closed doors. I don't care if you like to have sex with other men. I don't care. Me personally, I don't like, I don't care if you're a woman and you like to have sex with other women. I don't care. But yes, to, uh, to the media's eyes, yeah, he would, be, he would be a hero because they want to heroize everybody nowadays. Everybody's a hero. Everybody gets a trophy. Uh, we live in that culture nowadays. I don't understand it, but that's just me at the end of the day. But if he came, let me tell you something. Let, let's talk serious about that. If he would have came out and played football, I'm not going to lie. He, you're, not, you're not a hero because you're not doing anything heroic. But that, that does take, uh, I, I would, well, I don't want to use that word, but it, it takes, it, I don't think I can use that word either. Oh, gee, this is a dicey situation that you just cornered me in. You just painted me in a corner. Can't use that word. Can't use that word. How can I, how can I frame this without offending anybody? Uh, um, does it take courage? No, that's not courageous. Does it take steel? No, that's not the proper word for that situation. Unless you're talking about the steel that you use to sharpen a knife at a restaurant, but, that, but then you can also use that steel to do something bad. So we won't want to talk about that. Um, can't use that word because it's, it's the uh, Mexican word for that, so we can't use that. Let's just say if you want to, yeah, it, it, yeah, because you're, you're, you're risking people alienating you at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Can I say guts? It takes guts. Or I can't use that word either. I have no idea. Uh, please do Shanann and Christian story, please. I already did. You got to look at my channel. I uh, got to go back. If you put uh, Shanann, uh, if you uh, if you put uh, Shannon and Chris, Christian uh, in the search bar, that video will come up. Pike County murder. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully, Kale's writing this stuff down. You should visit the Iowa house where the brother shot his family for money and the house had an auction. You know what video I should have done? I should have done the video where the, t for, where the guy killed his family and then donated the uh, money to the Twitch uh, lady. I should have done that video. The Twitch streamer who was giving all of his money to the cam girl. That's the video I should have done. But sadly, that video was given to me 350 miles too late. Very, very sad. Miss Ramos, you didn't get the plate. I sent it to you. I definitely mailed it. If you didn't get it, 
If you didn't get it, uh, I'll, 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 I will remail a plate. I have like three left. But I did definitely mail it to you. Uh, John Wayne Gracie does not have John Wayne Gacy does not have a gravesite. Uh, I believe uh, his ashes were given to somebody and they disposed of them or whatever it is that they wanted to do. The Bell Witch grave outside of Nashville would be interesting. Uh, I'll, I'll write that down. Hopefully they're writing it down. Uh, the perp from the Amityville Horror uh, died, yes. Uh, I will be doing that video when I get out to New York sometime this year. Uh, look into the 2009 murder of Eric Navarro in North Lake, Illinois. Hopefully she's writing this down. Uh, Christopher Donner, Donner, Donner. Yeah, I remember that guy. I don't know where he's buried. Uh, I tell you what, um... I would definitely do that video if he had a grave. If he doesn't have a grave, I won't do the video. But yeah, it was a weird story. This this, this uh, cop, he used to be a cop with the LAPD. He just started going around killing other cops. It's a crazy story. That guy was huge, too. I remember that guy was, like, huge. He was, like, only 5'8", but he literally weighed 300 pounds. He was just, like, he looked like a big, huge uh, juggernaut guy. So. Uh, MJ with the $5. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, Pete D. I wish I could afford more. Be safe. Are there any videos from Florida still coming? Yes, there is. Uh, probably about another six or seven. Um, I didn't get to do all the videos in Florida that I wanted to. I'm not a major fan of Florida. I don't really like being there. However, um, it, it will be coming out. Uh, Brandon Tina already did that video as well. Uh, Oscar Freyer, basketball player, memorial site, three people killed, two people, two officers critically injured. He just played in the NCAA attorney. Uh, Oscar Freyer, basketball player, memorial site. Thank you for that. Uh, Josh Parks with the 499. I'll, I will look into that. Hopefully, hopefully, Kale is right in. Okay, thank you very much, Kale. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Christopher Reeve, uh, I don't, you know what? I think his body was donated to science and he doesn't have a grave. Trust me, if I, if he had a grave, I think I would have already did that video. Uh, very serene, very peaceful. I think I am the only person here in the cemetery. I think I'm alone. I think I'm alone now. The beating of my heart is the only sound. I think I'm alone now. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Okay, very good. Uh, Maddie Clifton case in Florida, never heard of it. Uh, Jay Watterson, what is up? How we doing? Somebody says that they think they see that I'm still eating fast food crap. Listen, kid, let me explain something to you, okay? I'm trying to make a living on YouTube. I don't have time. First of all, I don't, I'm homeless and I sleep in a van. I don't have a, I'm not fancy like you guys, okay? I'm not fancy with a stove, okay? I don't have a refrigerator, okay? I'm not fancy. I don't have a bathroom, okay? My bathroom is Walmart or Home Depot or whichever one that I choose to use at any particular time, okay? Uh, Sherry Lynn from Chicago with the $5. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I made uh, me a butterfly. Thank you. God bless you, too. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Bronze Kitten. Uh, th thank you for the $5. Would you consider doing a video on the Pike County murders? Family of eight killed by neighbors. Pike County murders. That was written down. I will look at everything later tonight. I will go through my video ideas and then take it from there. Uh... We'll see what happens. Yeah, it is. I like this video. Oh, okay, Miss Ramos. Okay, so Miss Ramos was trying to... Uh, oh, I see what you were trying to do. You were trying to get another plate sent to you. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, 
Uh, do I need a theme song? No, we don't. We don't do theme songs. Theme songs are cringy. We don't. We don't do theme songs on the mod at large. That is for the cringe. That is for the cringy YouTubers with the theme songs. Here's my theme song. My theme song is Sun the Sam, Sun the Sam, Sun the Sam, Sam, Sun the Sam. That's my theme song. That is it. I'm taking it from Bailey Sarian. That is it. I will not be using any other song except that one. So, yeah. So, anyways. Uh, uh, you need to check out the dude who killed his three sisters and parents for money. Uh, yeah. You talk about the uh, stimulus check guy, weirdo. You know, I could run up to Indianapolis really quick and do that story, but here's the problem about running up to Indianapolis. If I run up to Indianapolis now, uh, I will not be going back to Texas this year, and I will just continue to head east. So I can't go up there right now, but I will be hitting up Indianapolis on my way out east. Uh, St. Louis, Indianapolis for that story. There's another story, an unsolved murder in, uh, in uh, Indianapolis that I want to do really quickly. And there's some other stuff as well. So there's also, don't forget about that one kid who killed his, uh, didn't he kill his, like, his family because he wanted to go outside because of the COVID or something like that? I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Oh, Sabrina Tran. Thank you very much, Miss Tran. I appreciate that. Uh, Mariana Ann, thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, no, they're they're buried whatever their parents want them to be buried or their family members. Uh, Joel Joel Guy Jr. Uh, no one's ever asked me to do that video before. Okay, so now I am getting kind of ahead on the comments, so I'm trying, guys. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Wasic or Wackick. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Zap and Roger. Yeah. Hey, Kale, can you write down the Zap and Roger? Yeah. No, I'll definitely do that video. I didn't even know they were buried in the same cemetery. I would have done that video while I was there. Uh, Matt Maupin is Cincinnati the first American military man beheaded by ISIS. Uh, yeah, Kel, can you write down that Matt Maupin's name too? You got, I would have to, I would have to hit that up. I would definitely have to hit that up. I am, I, I am starving guys. Uh, I am starving. Uh, it, I have, I have walked this cemetery for three hours for your enjoyment, your enjoyment only. Uh, Carlitos Way, the muchacho, what's going on? Nightshade, what is that? Uh, is that the next color palette in a disgustingly beautiful line of uh, makeup? Uh, when the murders happened in Corpswood Manor, it happened in my hometown of Chattanooga County uh, in the Mountain View area. Nightshade, huh? Uh, nobody hit me up with that. Hey, Carol, nobody hit me up about the Nightshade murders. Gee, I wonder what happened. Hmm. Wonder what happened about the Nightshade murders, huh? Nightshade murders. Okay. Uh, Ryan Brown with the dollar ninety nine. Uh, Henry Lee Lucas. Uh, you know what's so funny? I've I've went to his grave at least ten times because I always go to that cemetery. Um, I've just never done a video about him. Um, yeah, I, I should. I I, I I go to his grave all the time. Of all the graves I go to, like if if someone asked me what grave do you go to the most, it's probably Henry Lee Lucas. I just never did a video about it. I guess I would. I guess I will do that video. Uh, would you do a video about the Hatfields and the McCoys? Yeah. Uh, Scale, can you write the Hatfields and the McCoys down? I, I, I know I'm like ordering you around like you work for me, and you don't. You're 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 free. You're a free person to go and come as you choose. Uh, save the stream. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. Do I plan to come to Arkansas? You're no, uh, the only the only video in Arkansas that I want to want to do is uh, Ralphie May's grave. Um. Uh, other than that, what what have I done in Arkansas? Arkansas. 
What 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 other what other stories in Arkansas? I have no idea. Uh, maybe I should look into some stories over there. Uh, what about Lesnardo Guzman Files? He was killed by the Trinitarios due to mistaken identity. Yeah, that, dude, that's the number one. That's probably the... I would say out of all my vlog ideas I have in New York, he's in the top five for sure. Yeah, no, dude, you don't even got to tell me. Um... That that is that is going to be a uh, that that is going to be a uh, yeah yeah I, I yeah Tr trust and believe I already that's already in my memory bank for sure and uh, I I hope uh, I I I don't believe New York has the death penalty but anybody that was associated with that young man's murder I would have no problem with if they were all hung and when I say that I means like hung by the rope not the other kind of hung. just making sure you guys are on the same wavelength as me. Uh, uh, Devil Ains Hatfield. I don't know who that is, but if he's part of the Hatfields and the McCoys, I will definitely be doing that. Uh, Joe Guy Jr. Yes, yes. He, he will be uh, Joe Guy Jr. Yes. Not a, not a good not a good son that is for sure uh roofer till death uh will you come to my grave when i die uh, not with my leaky roof that you didn't fix so i say you get to work my friend if you want that grave to be done when you die just let that be known uh rebecca roderick oh you're too kind thank you thank you my dear uh, somebody said West Memphis 3. Uh, I will be going to Memphis. I cannot say I will definitely do that vlog. Um, we'll see when I get there. We'll see because like, I really need to get to uh, Texas. But uh, Doing a scene with the Boston Bombers. I believe I found where one of them is buried. Don't quote me. Or Kale found it. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going to do that video. I hope, hopefully, I will be in Massachusetts sometime in uh, uh, September, October. Uh, Webster Hubel, Arkansas by the Clintons. Ah, uh, the Clintons. Uh, guys, you got to be careful what you say about the Clintons because some people just kind of wind up dead. Uh, Kale, can you please get down that guy's name? Um, Webster Hubel, Hubble. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, James Rupert killed his whole family, 11 of them. Much blood filled the floor. It was pouring down in the basement in Ohio. Uh, Kale, can you get James Rupert? Uh, Crystal Rogers still missing in Kentucky. Uh, Kale, can you please get that? Uh, she only has one. Guys, uh, let's, let's not forget, Kale only has one arm. She had a bit of a misstep, if you will. Uh, England, yes, one day I will. One day I will. Uh, 9.99 from Always Believe. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, somebody says that I could leave my trailer in Michigan. That's the problem. I don't have. I don't need a place in Michigan. I only need a place in in the East Coast cities. I I would only need a place in Philadelphia, anywhere in Jersey or Long Island. Other than that, I'm good everywhere else. Well, Connecticut. I mean, if you're in Connecticut, let me know. Let me know. Uh, Pepper Lee with the ten dollars. Thank you very much, Pepper Lee. I appreciate it uh, very much. So, I need some chapstick for these lips. They're getting chapped, so I need some chapstick. Oh, uh, guys, I did it! I finally did it. I caught up to the stream. I caught up with their comments. Hello. I am. I am caught up on the comments, guys. So, I made it. Congratulations to me. Wow, I've been streaming for, uh, this is, I think this is the longest I've streamed on Lamont at Large, right? And I'm not even drinking. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, okay, guys. Uh, uh, Miss Jackson, uh, thank you very much. Uh, and, and I know people have asked me, like, hey, there's another dollhouse grave. Like, I don't want to start doing other dollhouse graves, like. Well, maybe I should. I don't know. Am I cringy enough? Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, someone wants to know what's in the cup. Uh, maybe you're referencing that you think that I'm a possible uh, drunken alcoholic. I do need a new hat. I do know that. Uh, there's coffee in here, ma'am. And I don't appreciate the accusations or the assumptions that you are making. Cold coffee. Maybe I should change my, hey, 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 Kale, what do you think about this for uh, my new YouTube banner picture? I need that, right? Wait. Right? I think that, I think that picture on my banner is too airbrushed. I don't really look like that. I don't, I don't really look like that. I really look like this. I look like Dramatic Squirrel. Uh, would you guys have thought it was a good idea if I did a vlog at the hospital where Screech died? I was thinking about doing that. I should have done it, but I, I don't know. Uh, Screech, uh, of course, Dustin Diamond from uh, Saved by the Bell tragically died from lung cancer. And... Yeah, he died in a city that I drove through. Uh, I was thinking about driving back there and doing a vlog at the hospital where he died, but I was like, yeah, that's like a once, that's a that's a minute and thirty second video. I don't know. Maybe I I should have just done it and thought about whether I wanted to upload it or not. I felt bad for that guy though, man. He wasn't much older than me. Wasn't much older than me. Uh, George Michael, yes, I will definitely be doing that grave. Uh, I've seen his picture, uh, the, the picture of his grave on Find a Grave. And uh, it is, a, it is a, a rather simple grave from a man who's not very simple. Uh, man was worth over $350 million when he died. But I got to have faith because I got to have faith. I can't believe there's been people on my stream that have been here for three hours. That's crazy. I, that, I didn't think I was just entertaining, but uh, I do try. Uh, dramatic squirrel. Got to do that. No, I lo look, I, 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 George Michael was a fantastic singer, and uh, I loved Wham. I, I, I love George Michael's music. Um, I don't, I, what he died of like some something with his heart, right? I mean, what what was he uh, doing drugs or something? I have no idea. See, there, there's a problem when you have all that money, you get really bored, and then you want to start doing drugs. And I don't know. It's so funny that that you know everybody pract everybody pretty much knew he was gay. You know, come on. But I I, I remember when he officially came out of the closet, which was silly. Uh, he got caught uh, doing some kind of sex thing at a park right across the street from where I worked. And the next day, I'm going to work, right? And I, I told the, uh, I told the cook, uh, who later fired me for insubordination. Uh, I don't feel I, I don't think I deserve to be fired, but uh, I understand and I respected his decision nonetheless. I said, "Hey, whatever your name is, uh, why is there so many news and TV cameras outside?" He's like, "I have no idea." And then later on, <laughs> it was on the news. And then he said, oh, by the way, I'm gay. It's like, yeah, bro, we already knew. We already knew you were gay. Uh, his grave is unmarked, but it doesn't, I don't believe it says his name, but I believe it says, uh, I believe it's like somebody took a picture of it. So, I don't know. Am I going to the grave of Betty White? I mean, damn. The, I mean, the, are you like... <laughs> damn, like, I mean... <laughs> Like, are you like kind of, are you like easing her into the grave or what? <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, the inevitable is that we're all going to die. I mean, I'm going to die. You're going to die. You're all going to die here. We're all going to die. Uh, I mean, I'm not wishing her death, but I guess to answer your question, I'm assuming I am. Uh, it's, it's kind of odd how we have not heard from her and listen, you know, guys, she, she had like a revival of her career, you know, five, 10 years ago, I, be, I believe she was on some television programs. However, 
you know what happens when older TV stars, uh, movie stars, what have you, when they when they no longer are doing TV shows, it's because they're getting old and they might be getting dementia. And you have we have not heard from Betty White. I haven't heard anything about her. So I don't know. I wish her all the best. Time Chaser is uh, laughing. It's Time Chaser. That's very mean. Uh, people are not uh, people are not a fan of you wishing uh, ill upon Betty White. But, uh, you know, listen, the uncomfortable uh, subject of death is that, I mean, I don't believe the person was trolling or, or being disrespectful. I'm laughing because I'm just like, damn, geez, like, she's not even dead, bro. But, I mean, she, I know she's old. But I, I, I honestly don't even think about that. I really don't think about people that that are old and I'm like, oh, wow, they're going to die. Like, I don't, like, I'm not ghoulish like that. I don't, I don't wish people dead. But you brought it up. I mean, um, I actually thought that somebody was dead about a week ago. They're still alive. Um, I was talking about that guy, uh, Kujikaro, the guy that used to be the E correspondent. Like, he was real sick and he needed a uh, kidney transplant. I thought he was dead. I was like, that would be a, a kind of a cool grave to do. And then uh, my friend was like, no, Kale was like, uh, no, he's actually alive still. I'm like, oops, sorry. Sorry. I didn't know. Uh, from Bayou with Love. Uh, keep it up, man. Uh, Miss Bayou, thank you very much with the $5 super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, Lamont, because you visit graves, what's your opinion on the paranormal? I have never experienced anything in a cemetery other than the one time, and so I have no idea. I don't feel anything weird. Um, I don't hear anything weird. I don't have any weird vibes, uh, so I don't know. Uh, please look at Arthur Shacross, a serial killer in Rochester. Uh, I will look him up. I will definitely look it up. Uh, Cosmos side, never heard of it. Uh, you, me and your nephew Mike could be twins. I highly doubt that. I don't believe anybody looks like me. I believe all the people that claim that I look like their cousin or their brother, I believe that they just have similar color eyes, but I believe that's where it ends. But uh, maybe we are, maybe we're long lost twins. Uh, by the way, somebody mentioned uh, something odd that I seen posted on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this rapper named Tom McDonald. Uh, he's like, uh, he's a rapper, but he like kind of raps about uh, anti cancel culture and stuff like that. I enjoy some of his music, practically all of his music. And uh, he posted something on on YouTube on his uh, community post, which I should I should start posting on my community post on Lamont at Large. I don't know why I don't. Uh, he posted like he had a certain call. He had a, he made a song called Church. It was a nice song. It was about um, the addictions that he's gone through in his life, like with drugs and alcohol, and going to church. To base basically, the song is about like I'm gonna go to church and pray. Like my addictions away. Like it wasn't like he was being serious, and he posted something so so factual. It, it made you just stop and think. So he posted, he said, my, my song, Church, on YouTube got 1.4 million views in a week, like in, in such and such time. And Little Nas X made a song about Satan worshiping and giving the, giving the devil a lap dance. And it got 15 million views. And uh, I know Little Nas X, I know he, um, he had the uh, he had a rap song that was Country Road. Uh, it was a horrible song. Uh, I I think he has absolutely no talent, but a, a lot of people uh, liked his song because I could, I believe it was a country rap crossover, which, um, I, whatever. And then he came out as gay, which okay, you know, whatever. I don't have an opinion about it. Um, I'm sure he still makes music or whatever. I don't listen to uh, that that dude, but whatever. So I just thought it was funny how he's like, "Yeah, I made a <laughs> I made a song about church, and you know, I got really good views." Tom McDonald's an awesome rapper. I'm not really into rap, but I like his music. But uh, Little Nas X, uh, bumping and grinding with the devil. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, we got the, we got the, uh, yes, uh, 
Flip on you. What's up? Yeah, flip on you. Thank you for again for that email. I appreciate that for the five dollars. That was a great email. Uh, Kale, that was flip on you. Was the one that I read you that email about homeboy. <laughs> My favorite email I think of all time. <laughs> ah, uh, Hussein, uh, Hussein, again. Wow, she she gave me another another uh, gallon of gas over there. It's very expensive. Uh, thank you very much. Wow. I appreciate that. Uh, the lovely Miss Hussein. And she is going to, uh, she is, she is going to write in a, your own bathroom does not count. You must, you must vandalize a public restroom of note. It could be a McDonald's. What do you, what do you guys call McDonald's in the UK? Is it McDonald's or something? I know, I know a lot of Brit British people like Burger King, which I don't understand because Burger King is absolutely disgusting. And it, that is not a part of my future makeup line. Burger King is is garbage. I don't I don't uh, I don't know if you guys uh, for I'm not I'm you guys as as we all know I I'm not here to offend. Let's just call it what it is. I'm not here to offend. But can we all agree that Burger King is disgusting? It just is. It's Burger King is gross. Like no nobody should be going to Burger King. It's just, it's it's disgusting. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's gross. Uh, B. Arthur, I don't know where she's buried. I don't know where she's buried. Uh, I don't know where Rue McCallaghan is buried. Um, you know, I, I don't want to wish Betty White into the grave. I don't know that need to do that. But I just want to say this. Years down the road, when she is no longer on this earthly plane and she is in a place of wherever it is that we go to up above in the clouds. Uh, and, and I'm not even going to reference her in that way, but I have thought about doing um, graves of television, uh, like television stars. Uh, the only problem is that a lot of te television actors that were on TV shows, they, their graves are all separate. Like I would want to do like a Gilligan's Island like the graves of the castle of Gilligan's Island. The only problem is like one's over here, one's over there, one's over here, one's over there, one's over here. So uh, I might start doing that. I, I might, might, might start doing that. We'll see. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm trying to do more like location videos where even though the graves are a thousand miles away, I, I just hold the video over until I go to the actual location. So I'm, I am starting to do that now. Uh, thank you very much, Carrie. I appreciate that. Uh, Andre the Giant, he's buried at the uh, on this ranch in North Carolina or South Carolina. Maybe. We'll see if I can get out there. Uh, you should visit the once gravesite in England of DJ Jimmy Seville. They dug him up again, removed the monument. I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. Yeah, no, Tom McDonald's girlfriend, she's a pretty good rapper too. I can't rap for anything. I it thank you know thank God I never try to be a rapper because I, I could not rap at all whatsoever. Hey you, hey you. No, I'm not gonna do that. Do you like me now? No. Uh Alex Trebek, he is uh, I believe um I believe he was cremated. I don't believe he has a grave. Uh, Nipsey Hussle, yeah, I did his grave a couple times. He still doesn't have a stone yet. I'm sure they're going to get him one soon. Uh, the axe murder in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Um, uh, Kel, can you get that for me? Uh, thank you, Kel, for putting that up. Uh, if you want to get that, uh, that's the link to uh, her, her song. Might want to look that up. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. McDonald's is better than uh, Burger King for sure. Uh, Emma Adele with the $10. Bang, boom, bang, blow up, explosion. Uh, from West Virginia. West Virginia, one of my top five favorite states in the nation. Uh, I will be doing a, a couple videos in West Virginia. Uh, there is an unsolved murder of a nun. I, no, I don't believe she was a nun. I believe she was in the Covenant, though. Uh, she was murdered in Wheeling, West Virginia. So I will be going to Wheeling, West Virginia, uh, to do that vlog. Uh, also, uh, there is there is a video, a vlog about 
I think there was a guy who killed his wife. And he was on America's Most Wanted. I don't know if I want to do that vlog, but it was an interesting story. Uh, he, I think he killed her. Like he was like, he, I think he was like in the woods somewhere and he'd shot her or something like that. Um, what else do I know about West Virginia? Um, I guess I would have to like look some stuff up, but I will be in West Virginia uh, probably in June or July. Uh, Sandy Cole McBoo McBroom. Sandy Cole McBroom with the $5. Uh, God bless you too. And thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, Tom McDonald doesn't care if you use his music on your channel. Um, I mean, I wouldn't. I, I mean, yeah. When you start using people's music, though, Alvarez, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm. You know, I, I, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't, but I, I don't want to rip people off. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll just leave this music right where it is. Uh, Steph, I agree. I don't know how Burger King is still in business. It, it, uh, that is one of the, the the two the two fast food places, the two fast food places that I always wonder as I pass them how in God's name they're still in business. Number one, Burger King. Number two, Arby's. How are these people in business? I have no idea. I have no idea why. Don't know. Who knows? Uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? I have no idea, do you? Uh, Johnson Gang? Never heard of them. Uh, Johnston Gang. Yeah, maybe some 1870s gangsters? Um, Well, Mr. Swick, uh, that's good that you go to uh, women's bathrooms all the time. You're allowed to now. Just put on a woman's wig and identify as a female. You're good to go. And uh, if anybody says anything to you, you turn around and you call them a racist. And then you use the bathroom in peace, as you deserve to be. Okay. I, uh, hashtag I am woman. Uh, Graves of the Three Stooges. I could do that. I, I, I believe they're all buried in the uh, Southern California area, right? Hashtag I am woman. Uh, next time you're in Memphis, check out Dyer's Cheeseburgers. They use grease to fry their burgers from the 30s. They filter it and reuse it. I understand they lock, they lock their famous grease up. What? Hey, Kel, can you write that down? Dyer's Cheeseburgers? <laughs> I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up. If that is true, I, I definitely want to uh, go there. That's funny. I mean, considering I'm not on a diet right now, but I will be. I'm going on a strict diet pointing my finger at you because I'm being serious. I'm looking at myself right now. Actually, right now I'm looking at myself. Yeah. I'm going back. I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm telling you. I am. Yeah. Uh, Miss Hussein again with the, with the, with the 10 pounds. I appreciate it. Uh, Mackie D's. Mackie D's. Mackie D's. Uh, Maki D's. Is that what you guys call it over there? Maki D's? No. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I do Emmett Till? I did that video a while back. If you look on my channel in the search bar, just put Emmett Till. Uh, it'll come up. What is my fascination with graveyards? What is your fascination with coming on my channel to ask me what my fascination is with graveyards? Uh, West Virginia, the Mothman prophecies. Uh, I don't know nothing, nothing about that um, story enough to to even comment on it. I have to reread it, but I've heard about the name. Was that a was that a owl or a hawk? Something just flew right there. I have no idea. Uh, first, last with the four ninety nine. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like it or love it, as you're saying. I'm getting very staticky. Oh wow, must be the. Still hear the static now. I took off my mic. Uh, go to air for LTS KOG. Let me tell you something about that dude, and nobody knows who I'm talking about. I met that dude on the Wilshire bus on Wilshire Western back in 1997. That's when that dude was getting up. And like when I first seen him, right, he was like, hey, you right? Yeah, I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And that, that dude gave me his hand. He said, and he goes, air, LTS KOG. 
and he shook my hand and me being a toy and I know nobody knows what I'm talking about but it doesn't really matter uh, man I, I'll never forget meeting that guy because that guy was just just bombing like maybe he was bombing for like six months but he was he was already like uh, like he was already wrecking like you know the, the the fire escapes in downtown and all the freeway stuff over there uh so in case you guys don't know who we're talking about the he uh air was a graffiti artist from los angeles and uh he was just very active i know you know you guys whatever blah 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 uh he was a very talented artist and uh he uh killed himself very young what was he 20 years old i mean and i don't we didn't have the internet really back in the day so i never really knew what happened to him i just heard that um he, he killed himself i don't know if he was drunk i don't know if he was high i have no idea but uh no bro um best believe man um and you know and, and if any if any idiots out there take it as a as a sign of disrespect uh they can go buzz off you know see me when you see me at the end of the day um do me a favor, bro. Uh, either comment what his first and his last name was, because I don't know his name. Uh, I'll look him up, or or if you know where he's buried at, man, send me an email, or just leave a comment in this in the in the stream, and uh, Kale will uh, Kale will write it down. But uh, I mean, nice guy. He could have been like, Psh. he could have been like, Psh. like without me, like I'm I'm over here, you're over here, but he's a pretty nice guy, to say the least. Oh, also search too. Search. Uh, I don't know what happened to search. I knew search from when I was a kid. So uh, I'd like to go visit his grave too. I think he. I'm pretty sure he was buried. I don't know what happened to that guy. Uh, I knew that guy when he was droopy from AOB. And uh, yeah, man, I don't know what happened to him. I mean, he was he was really young. Uh, I don't know how old he. I mean, what was he in his mid forties? That's crazy that uh, somebody in here knows about. Uh, uh, graffiti from Los Angeles. Uh, Nicole Lavelle, don't know who she is. Mary Turner's story and grave. Uh, hopefully, uh, Kale's writing this stuff down. Uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, I know where his parents are buried. I don't. I mean, the secret grave of Steve Jobs. Who knows? I mean, I'll look into it. Murder of James Bulger. Is, are you talking about the, the Whitey Bulger? Uh, well, if anybody deserved to get whacked, uh, definitely him. Yeah, he was a scumbag. Uh, Emma, Adele with $5. There was a good crime case where one of the workers from Kelly's Men's Shop in Charleston killed a lady that worked with him and hit her body. Uh, I would have to read it to see if it's um, interesting enough for me to want to go do it. I mean, so, like a story like that, I could do it on my second channel, but the, but the problem is I'm not doing any videos on the second channel. Uh, so I, I will look into that. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia. I'll, I'll look it up. Blockbuster video store robbery murders in Albuquerque. I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's been all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, John Niders, what's going on? Thank you very much. Uh, the Sun Bowl massacre in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Yeah, I, I, I did that uh, video already. Uh, you could just go on my channel. I probably did that video about um, two months ago. Uh, Baby Brianna, uh, I've had a lot of people email me about that. I will do it eventually. I just, uh, when I was in uh, New Mexico, I just didn't want to uh, do that. It's, it's a very, very horrific uh, murder. Uh, I will do that eventually, though. I promise I will. Uh, Karen Akins, thank you very much. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan, uh, I might... We'll see about getting to that. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the static is gone because these cheap... I, you know what? I'm going to have to actually start getting better microphones. Uh, I can't be doing these uh, $10 Walmart uh, microphones anymore. Uh, the only reason why I buy them is because I'm never anywhere where I can order something from Amazon, something decent. So I have to start working on that. Uh, oh, Tina Louise. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Bryce, before I started doing my due diligence and research. Sydney uh, Youngblood with the $25. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you very much. Uh, Cedric Tippett is in the building. What is up, Mr. Tippett? Uh, 
and this lovely ex-girlfriend that he's no longer associated with. Hashtag sad. Uh, second city dude, have you ever been interested in chasing fugitives down for reward money ever? Uh, no, because I don't know how to fight. And if I actually catch one of them, like, what am I supposed to do? It's like, I'm like, oh. Uh, I, 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 I will tell you this. Um, I've thought about... There is a second channel that I can do at night. The only problem is the lighting in my trailer is really awful. That's why I don't do videos at night. But I, I, I do want to do videos where I talk about crimes like that. Um, however, I just don't have the equipment, the computers, the, the stuff to make it like look really good. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but yeah, no, I've thought about doing that for sure. Uh, there is a, you know, there is a, like, you know, like, like if I did like a video, I'll tell you what, now that you mentioned it, thank you for reminding me. Um, I started doing a faces and death video in Orlando that I did finish because I something just came up and I left. Uh, but there is an unsolved, um, some lady got hit and killed by a DUI guy. He jumped bail. I should go ahead and put that video up. Just, um, yeah, I might, I might just go ahead and put that video up because uh, this guy hit and killed a woman and uh, he's free right now. And uh, this woman's dead in the ground and and his, his family's hiding him. So thanks for reminding me about that video, man. I might have, I might just put that together and just be like, oh, look. Uh, I think I will do that video. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, and, for, and for the final, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Colin Mc, McMenamin. McMenamin. Are you related to uh, McMenamin? Who's the, there's a guy on ESPN, McMenamin, right? Are you related to him? Because that, that's an odd name. Colin McMenamin. McMenamin. Say that three times fast. I can't. Uh, can you do go to the grave and do a story about many from Little Women? You know, I just, I had to get out of Atlanta. Couldn't do it. I just can't put up with it. Um, I will when I get back to Atlanta. Uh, it ain't going to be no time soon, though. But I, somebody did email me about that. I don't know if it was you were the same one that emailed me about it, but I, I will I will definitely go do that. Uh, Juice World's Mausoleum. I will I will be vlogging that. Uh, I'll, I'll look up. A, I believe I found where King Vaughn is uh, as well. So I got to put that together. Uh, Kelly Sweet with the two twenty dollars super chat. Thank you very much, uh, Kelly Sweet. I appreciate it. Uh, Lady Weston loves my eyes, my voice, my beautiful face and lips. Oh, you're embarrassing me. It's only good from the neck, uh, from the neck up, from the neck down. It's all, it's all, uh, it's all bad. Uh, I went riding with once. I went riding with once in L.A. What'd you write? What'd you write, Holmes? Are you right? Remember that back? In the, remember in the 90s hey, what you write uh and you weren't really sure who it was and it was like you had two you had two decisions really quick to make you right okay first of all the first thing that comes to your mind is where am i i'm in downtown los angeles anybody could be there it could be anybody okay what do i write uh number two are you down or are you not down now if you rank it and you just say i don't want to write Nobody will know it. Nobody will know it except you, and it'll bother you when you're sleeping at night. And then you ride the bus home, and you get your razor blade, and you know you spit on your fingers, and you get the thing, and you make it dirty. And you and, you're, and you come back home, and your dad's like wondering, like, why are your hands always so filthy every time you come home? It's like, uh, it's, why are your fingers bleedy and covered in mud? Like, uh, it's just, I don't know. And then you, and then you go to sleep, and you're like, man, I didn't tell him who I was, but only you know it. Only you know it. Nobody knows what the hell I'm talking about. That's how I like it. It's called the Inside Joke, kids. Inside Joke. Uh, Roy Horn's grave? Uh, I don't know if he's buried or not. I have to look that up. I don't know. Uh, you, you probably have to go on... Uh, yeah, if, you, if it only goes back a certain, um, a certain... Yeah, you probably have to do it on your laptop or something. Uh, everyone, please ignore Trader Joe. Don't listen to what he has to say. I had to, I had to block somebody. Because Kel wasn't, uh, Kel wasn't really wanting to do it, so I had to do it for her. Uh, 
I'm in a very good mood today. Mm, well, nobody did anything stupid to mess with me. So, uh, Vanessa Guillen in Houston. I will be doing that video. I don't know if I'll this time around. Uh, we'll see. Uh, make an Amazon wish list so we could buy you stuff you need. Uh, thank you for that, uh, Miss Lee. But is it Stephanie Leah or Lee? Uh, I don't really have a wish list because there's nothing that I want to. There's nothing that I can't buy. I, there's nothing on Amazon. I'm like, oh yeah, I, no. I think that stuff is cringy. I, I can buy it myself, and there's really nothing expensive that I want to buy. The most expensive thing on Amazon that I probably would want to buy, maybe perhaps, is a drone. But I don't really need a drone. And the drone that I was looking at was like, I don't know, 500 bucks. I mean, I, I think I think when people post Amazon wish lists. Especially when they have YouTube channels that they're making a decent living off and I don't have any kids So it's not like I'm in debt or anything like that. I think a lot of youtubers that do that I think they're just really true. I think they're tragically greedy, which will be another part of my makeup line tragically greedy Tragically disgusting beautifully tragic uh, I'm Writing all this stuff down uh, uh, Thank you very much. I am Adele. I appreciate that Uh, where's my mod? Uh, she, I don't know. She's she's. I think she's taking a break. I think one of her dogs is barking at something. Uh, have I ever done videos in Ohio? Yeah, not a lot. No, not a lot. No, I I know I have, but not a lot. I think the last time I was in Ohio, I was on my scooter. So I do need to go back there. So yeah. NHDTKO. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys were going around beating people up and shooting it out. Yep, yeah, I don't know about you guys. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I know about you guys. Yeah, yeah, the pow, 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 bang, bang, boom, pow. Yeah, I know about you guys. I know what you guys did. I know what's up. I, 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 I read the rumors. You know what I'm talking about. I, I'm not going to talk about it because uh, I'm not going to talk about it, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Huh? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, by the way, whatever happened to Slecko? Um, are you Slecko? If you're Slecko, I met you in uh, I met you in high school at Marshall High. I don't know if you're Slecko, but uh, I, when I think of NHDTKO, Slecko was from there, and uh, I actually talked to you for 15 minutes. If that is you, uh, I was surprised how short you were when I met you. You were like five foot nothing. Uh, Angela Temke. What's up? Uh, okay, what is your dream location? Great, I'm a 1979 baby too, so my dream location would be Seattle, Kurt Cobain's home. I know he isn't buried anywhere, but I'd love to see his home. Uh, so if I, my dream location, which like, if I could do like any video, like, uh, like right now, um, Um, I guess I guess right now I, I can't mention anything in the country because I can go wherever I want right now. So let's just say overseas. Let's say if, if I can go anywhere right now, I probably would do the uh, Jack the Ripper locations and the graves of the whip, uh, victims. Um, let's say if, if we talk about stuff in this country, I think the uh, I think the um, I'm trying. Oh, the number one the, the number one video that I want to do is probably the Nutty Putty Cave uh, in Utah. The only problem is if I go, if I leave Texas and like, let's say I get my Texas driver's license and I go back to Utah to do that video. Well, first of all, I would have to buy a new van. I can't take that van. Like, you know, I, I, I'm already like kind of looking around Texas for a new van. Um, so if I see something that I like at a good price, I'll definitely jump on it. Uh, but definitely the Nutty Putty Cave is my number one now. So we'll see. Oh, you went back to watch the dog attack me? Uh, you emailed me a trailer for twelve hundred. I'm not looking for another trailer. The tra I mean, I, I know the trailer leaks and it has its, it has its, you know, whatever. But no, nah, it's for right now. It's fine. Uh, but thank you for looking out for me. I appreciate that. By the way, if anybody uh, out there has a cargo trailer that was converted into a trailer that you live in and you're selling it, let me know. I'm being serious. Lamont at large at gmail.com. I'm looking for a cargo shell trailer that's been converted so it has windows and stuff like that i'm being serious like i'm not looking for one but if i seen one i would jump on it but those trailers are kind of nobody has those uh, often but yeah let me know uh laura o'leary with the five dollar super chat thank you very much uh start with detroit born viola viola or vola luzo killed by the kkk 
Um, eh. Uh, Kel, can you write that down? Uh, Josie Kaiser wants to get a blue wrench. Uh, the only blue wrench on my channel is Gone with the Kale. There will be a second wrench, possibly. Um, but I haven't made my decision yet on if one that bestow upon them the power of the blue wrench. Uh, but it, it's only one. Only one. There's only one. Only one blue wrench. Wow, my teeth look really yellow today. Yikes. Oh, wow. I gotta, I gotta get that those quest, those crest white strips. Not looking good, kids. Not looking good. I drank a lot of coffee today, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta get those white, uh, those white strips again. Uh, Emma Adele, don't worry about it. I, I, the, the problem with the microphone is that, well, you know, how about this? How about I could take this off now because I'm not talking into the microphone anymore. Uh, the problem with the, uh, the, the microphone is like I, I'll, I could pay for it. I just need a place that I'm gonna stay at where I'm gonna, where I can order and get it. So I will be doing the, uh, wow, my head got really cold all of a sudden. Jeez. Oh, it's getting, uh, it's getting kind of cold here. All right, let's, let's take a walk. Is there going to be any ghosts? I was going to do a stream at night, but I just, I don't know. I'm just, I just didn't want to, I guess. <sighs> I don't know. But I appreciate it, Miss Leia. I mean, um, I can, I'll, I'll get it. I, I just got to stay somewhere where I can get the, uh, Get, get mail or get the Amazon thing. Uh, Chesity Tran from uh, Bur from uh, Mississippi. Uh, do the four little girls killed in the Birmingham bombing? Yeah, I talked about doing that. Uh, the problem with doing the... Um, the problem, and I'll tell you this, and it's not the fault of the people who were murdered, but the problem with doing like civil rights stuff where people were killed and the KKK is that there's already enough of, of crap going on in the media and it's like, I, I feel like when I do those videos, it's like, oh, I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up again. Um, now, I, now, I'll do those videos in all due time. Here, I'm going to start walking to, towards my, my home. Uh, I just don't want to start like doing a, like a lot of those videos. So I, I, I know that I know you're talking about you're talking about the, the church bombing in Birmingham. And I will do that video. Uh, probably next time I go to Birmingham, uh, I, I, I might but I highly doubt it. I don't think I'll be going to Birmingham this time around, but uh, I was supposed to go to Birmingham because I, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, there was a, a missing person uh, video that I, I want to start doing like videos about missing persons, like missing 411 or what have you. And, and there was a uh, lady who went missing in Birmingham. I think she's been missing for well over 15 years. And it was a very mysterious circumstances under which she went missing for so uh, I wanted to go vlog that, and I knew about, I already knew about the, uh, re I read about the uh, church bombings, uh, what have you. So uh, I, I, I'll, I'll look into it and uh, see about doing it, or uh, what have you. Wow, I'm hungry. I should eat something tragically disgusting, or disgustingly fattening. I think that's what I'm going to do, and I can do whatever I want. So yeah. Uh, sub Navy 41FD in Akron, and it said it sucks. Uh, I wouldn't mind being in Akron right now because I know they got a lot of uh, interesting graves and stories in Akron. I know a lot of, I've, I've been to Akron before, and uh, I was surprised how much of a dump it was. But I do love Ohio. Ohio is one of my favorite uh, states in the nation. With Texas, Ohio, West Virginia. Uh, what else do I like? Uh, Missouri. I like Missouri. I like Wisconsin. Uh, I, I like like I like that Iowa Nebraska border right there. I like that area. I like uh, I don't like Kansas. Kansas is boring, but I like Kansas City. Uh, what about videos of Mexico cemeteries? I don't like Mexico too much. I'm not a big fan of that place uh, just because of the danger. Um, I mean. I'll go to Mexico one day. I'm just not a big fan. I just, all the stuff that I hear. And yes, guys, I know you guys will be like, oh, it's safe over there. Okay, well, tell that to the guy that got uh, his head chopped off with a chainsaw. Let, tell me about, tell me about that. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So. Uh, Bruce Lee, one day I will. I'll, one day I'll go up there. One day. Uh, yeah, I read up about the victims of... Uh, here, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can stop looking at my face. 
So, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. As soon as it gets really dark, I'm gonna end the live stream. So I was thinking to myself, um, I was gonna end the live stream about an hour ago, but I've never live streamed at night with total darkness. I wanna see what this camera looks like at night. So I'm just waiting for it to get nice and dark so I can get out of here. And right now, uh, I will say this, it is a lot lighter on the camera than, than what it looks like. So we're just waiting. So it, in about 15 minutes, it should be totally dark and then I'll be scared. Uh, do I do abandoned places videos? No, but my boy Mobile Instinct. If you guys like abandoned places, Mobile Instinct does that. Definitely check out his channel. He has Mobile Instinct and uh, Mobile Instinct 2. Uh, and I do look forward to doing a collab video with him when I get out to the East Coast. Hopefully we can link up because usually he likes to go to the West. I like to go to the East. Uh, I actually wish he was out here now because I got a really cool video we can collab on, but I would need to uh, borrow his drone. But uh, we'll see. Uh, why not get an RV? Because uh, RVs are not good for people like me because they're very... Um, they're very maintenance unfriendly. I drive way too much. It would be way too costly. Uh, you can't put, you can't park at a, at a uh, Home Depot or a, or a Lowe's or a Walmart with an RV everywhere. It's already bad enough that I have that trailer. Um, eventually, what I am going to get is I'm going to get a van, and I'll just I'll just customize it or whatever. That's what I'm going to do. Wow, this this shows up pretty well right now. But then again, I had that my old phone did this as well. But I'm just curious at night how it looks like in total darkness. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Bianca Devins in New York. Uh, if, if somebody is still writing these things down, then I will definitely check that out. Uh, Miss Jackson, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Madness Stevenson with the $2. Uh, was that Australia? I got a troll from the party line. That's crazy. There's only one troll from the party line that would come on here and harass me. First name Leo, last name Salas. I actually called that uh, party line at the other the other day just because I had to check my microphone to see if it was working, if anybody heard me. And uh, I can't believe people still call that damn thing. I mean, it was, dude, that, that thing was fun, like, in 2003. It just got lame, man, but, I, you know, I'd be in my, I'd be driving, driving my taxi, so I'd call it, like, when it was boring or whatever. Boring call and just start yelling at everybody. Jimmy Bandera, 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 Jimmy Bandera. Come to New Jersey soon. I, uh, hopefully, I got your name correct. Uh, yeah, I will be there uh, in New Jersey. Hopefully, I'm targeting uh, July 1st that I'll be in New Jersey. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I, just, you know, I usually just go on Namus uh, to find missing people. And to read stories, I, I I do I do want to start doing more videos. The only problem is here here's the problem. I wouldn't mind doing like missing persons on another channel, but my other channels are very small and they don't get like a lot of views. But I don't want to start uploading every day on Lamont at large. So I'll I'll, have, I'll figure it out as time goes. I'll figure it out. I'm looking for a trash can so I can throw away my cup. However, there isn't. Okay, the sun is almost down.
We'll see you soon. Okay, I think we're I think we got about five more minutes before it's totally well, probably about ten more minutes before it's totally dark, and I'll see what it looks like. Still waiting. Still wait for it to get totally dark. Uh Did I get a new vehicle? No, no. My vehicle is still old, but I will be getting a new one hopefully soon when I find it. Uh, Kanika Jenkins, yeah, that's not an unsolved case. She accidentally locked herself in the freezer. I mean, the video is on there. It's on, it's on YouTube. She was by herself. She got, she accidentally got locked in. That's that's all there was. I know. You know the the Kanika Jenkins case. People want to make something about about an accident. It wasn't a murder. She just she was she was drunk and high, and unfortunately, that freezer door did not have a plunger to push to get out, and so she died a very tragic death. That was messed up. I think I don't know if the family sued the hotel, but in my opinion, that's all there was to the story. It's just that. But you got people. You know, I don't know what if her family. It's like, oh, you know, somebody did something. I don't know who's doing that. I don't know if the family is doing it or people on social media is doing it, but there was, it, that was just an accident. It's like the, uh, it's like the, uh, what was his name? Kendrick Johnson. I actually already did that vlog. However, I don't know if I want to upload it. I mean, we'll see about if I want to upload it or not. I'm probably going to, and I'm, I know that video is going to make a lot of people upset or, or pissed off at me needs to be said though you can't you know you can't join the cool kids club on youtube and say like oh yeah he was murdered you know everybody has their opinion everybody has their opinion and i have mine and my opinion is that it wasn't a murder and my opinion is that the that the family of that young man is is going out on a witch hunt trying to get everybody uh like just going after innocent people and you're and you know, just to touch on that case really quickly, uh, you got a couple kids who whose name is forever tied to that 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 kid's horrible death. You got you got people who are like, oh yeah, you murdered him. Like, what are you talking about? I didn't murder anybody. Okay, we got into a fight a, a, a month and a half before he died. I didn't have nothing to do with his murder, and th and their name has been cleared. I mean, they've they've sued. They've sued Ebony Magazine for doing that expose, uh, calling them out on this kid's this kid's death, and it's like I don't feel he was murdered. I feel this was a a a tragic accident. That's it. And I will never be one of those YouTubers like, oh yeah, let me let me just jump on the the cool the cool train. No, I got I got opinions that are very unpopular. Well, actually, no, they're not very unpopular. They're just unpopular to half of the population. So I don't know. I want to get going, man, but I, I really want to see, like, when it gets super dark, what it looks like. And so far, it looks really good, but then again, my phone looked like this, too, and then when the sun would totally go down, it would be, like, it would be done. There's no light. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Michelle Lucero says, sorry, my steady threatened to kill you. Oh, it's okay. It's uh, people in New Mexico... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that area. That was a, that was that New Mexico. I don't like that state. That's my least favorite state. Not because of that, but I just don't like it. Uh, when am I coming to Philly? Uh, hopefully in June or July, somewhere around there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so so it's totally dark. Well, it's not totally dark, so you can kind of see. Why is it? All, why does that a focus now? Huh? Went out of focus. What happened? 
Okay, then we go over here. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Why, I wonder why it's doing that. So that's funny. So it's blurry right here. But... Is it blurry right here? What's that? Is there fog? That is weird. Why is it doing that? Do I need to switch my camera settings? Let me see if I can... That is odd. Doesn't this thing have a night camera? Disable flash. Oh, there it goes. Oh, all right, very good. No, did it again. All right, hold on, let me see. All right, very good. Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, definitely want to do the Taco Bell murder. Uh, however, uh, I don't know when I'll be getting to that section of, of the country. Yes, I'm still going. I'm like the energy energizer bunny. Get your minds out of the gutter, y'all. Get your minds out of the gutter. Uh, I'm not I'm not getting nervous. I'm just uh, no, I'm just well Am I getting nervous? Nah, I don't think so I'm getting nervous about my camera. Why is it doing that? Uh, she Ra McPherson with the four dollars. Thank you very much. I appreciate that And Lauren Ryan with the Canadian 399. Thank you very very much. Appreciate that. And Marta Soria from the Soria family. Yeah, I actually do have a flashlight that I bought from Walmart, but um, I mean, I just want to see what this looks like at night. And I mean, so this, so I'll tell you what, it's pretty dang dark here right now. And this is so, so, but it's dark over here. And then it just goes to, I don't get it. I'm trying to see if it. Isn't there like a, a, like an automatic? Ah, oh, it's just me, sorry. Uh, okay, so now, okay, so now that's totally dark. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. This, this is kind of cool. Okay, very good. Okay, so I guess I would just definitely need a light so I could just, you know. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Hold on. Wait, how come it... Wait, where's the... Uh, Sorry guys, I'm just messing around right now. What the heck? No. Nope. Well, okay. Who wants this? This is stupid. No, that's we don't want that. 
Um, no. Document sepia silver screen haunt sketch. Okay, no, I can't see anything over there. This look, this looks like uh, tales from the crypt right here. Haunt. Okay, that's haunt. Haunt. Wait. Hey, stop looking. All right. Uh, Cause I got the flash, but this ain't gonna work. So, all right. So it's pretty dark, and so yeah. Okay. So that's this ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. Uh, Ginny Ben Ben D Bandiera Bandi Era Bandiera. Thank you very much, Ginny Bandi Bandiera. Okay, I'm gonna really have to practice. Band the Era Bandiera, Ginny Bandiera. Thank you again for the 4.99. Thank you, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Samsung settings, I have no idea. Uh, Michael Smith, the 99 centavos. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate that. Okay, it's getting really cold. All right, let's see. Um, I don't. No, stop. Okay, so go to. Okay. I think I hear a coyote. Crap. Or is that a puppy? Uh, see, I was going to... I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, my next live stream, it'll probably be in two weeks. I might do a, only a nighttime stream. I'll probably do that. How about... How does that sound? Okay, very good. Why do I why do I keep hitting that for? Nobody wants to see this. Okay, very good. Okay, let me turn this around. Let me turn this around. How come the how come the thing's not coming up? Share, save, highlight. I don't know. Wow, I'm hearing some weird... What is that? There, there, there's some weird sounds going... Okay, I gotta, get, I gotta get out of here. Okay, we gotta go. There's some weird... What is that, a turkey? Like, I heard like a, like a gibbler, like a giblet or something. I think this is dark enough. Yeah, so... so I know the Samsung Galaxy S9, I know it had a camera, but uh, anyways. All right, guys, listen. Uh, Miss Reagan, please, don't. Uh, I, can't, I can't turn it back on because it's not letting me do it. Let me see. Hold on. Stupid, come on. Okay, so no. I don't know. Anyways, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for stopping by my stream. I know I streamed almost four hours. Um, I'll stream again in about two weeks. Uh, we'll do a um, we'll do a nighttime only stream, so I'll only stream at night. And uh, maybe we'll see some ghosts. Uh, you never know. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, anyways, guys, God bless. Thank you for the donations. I appreciate it very, very much. I'll see you in two weeks. Uh, be good out there.
Yes, I will save it. All right, guys, have a good night. Peace out.